There we go. Hello everyone and welcome to a somewhat problematic start to the stream because nothing is working properly even though I just tested it and thought I'd fixed basically everything. There we go. Let's see if that actually works properly now. There we go. <sighs> Hello everybody. Uh, right, I think things are probably okay now. Um, yeah, so <laughs> there, are, there are a few problems with, um, with this game. Um, how, how's the volume by the way? Uh, Oh, oh no! I can't. I can't adjust anything without it changing. Oh. Right, because XCOM 2 is running as a full screen game, I can't. If I if I try if I click on anything outside it, it immediately minimises and the screen goes black. So that's very unhelpful. I'm just going to have to hope everything works nicely. Um, yeah, I I, 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 I was going to say I promise I tested this beforehand. I didn't 100% test it because I didn't actually start a stream up. But uh, things did seem to be okay. And then as soon as I got things going, everything was the wrong resolution. The USB hub was failure. It is it's just it's just been awkward. So yes, that that was a fun start. So hello everyone. Um, I might be able to set it to borderless windows, actually. That might that might help. Let's have a look for that. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Full screen, windowed. Full screen. No, I only have full screen or windowed. Um, let's try that one, see what happens. I mean, actually, that, that looks okay on the stream. I've got a, I've got a, a, a title bar now. Uh, which I can kind of hide reasonably well like that, and I've got a, and I've got a taskbar at the bottom of the screen. But to be honest, that's that's good enough. I can deal with that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't bought a new hub yet. It's uh, it's only occasionally a problem. Um, I don't know why the webcam is being laggy. I could I, I suppose I could turn it off. That might be a good idea. Um, but I can't I can't I, ha I had this problem before on a previous stream. Uh, yeah, I can see it's the, the webcam is delayed for some reason, and I have no idea why. I'm afraid the best I can do with that is just turn it off like that. Oh, and the sound disappears when I when I tab out as well. Okay, so anyway, let's let's ignore all the technical problems and just start actually, you know, playing and see how things go. So, <laughs> right, my plan is to st start a new game. Um, I'm going to do it on. Let's go for Commander difficulty, I suspect. I think because I'm pretty sure I'm oh. Lower the in-game volume. I, I actually can't, which is very strange. Um, OBS won't let me adjust the volume. That's weird. Uh, let's do it in a different place then. Um, there we go. It's a bit quieter. I might. I could. T I could turn the music off as well. I suppose because I'm sure you're, you're far more interested in hearing my voice than the uh, than the uh, than the music. Uh, Linux, of course. Every it's always always Linux. Uh, <laughs> rookie veteran commander legend. Yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll go we'll go for commander. I think. Um, I don't want the tutorial because that's just enormous amounts of um, of FMV. F not, we don't call it FMV anymore, especially it's not. Uh, well, actually, I suppose it is. Uh, enormous, enormous amounts of cutscene before we before we get going. But we'll leave the be beginner voiceover on, and we'll leave. The, I suppose I could leave the subtitles on. I don't care. Um, yeah, we'll go with the appropriate soundtrack. That seems fine. Um. Yes. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Sub subtitles might subtitles might be a good choice because then then it's it's a bit easier for you guys to see what's being said if you're not um, if especially if I'm to talking over the top. So we'll turn those on. Um, advanced options. What have we got in here? Okay. So you can make fights longer by making everybody tougher. Uh, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for a basic normal. Ooh, actually, double the length of mission. Since that's an official option, let's turn that one on because I remember these timers being really annoying last time I played this, which was many many years ago. But um, I remember the timers being very very annoying. So I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna extend those a little bit just to. It's a little bit cheaty, but never mind. And uh, right, let's just let's just get started. Um, I will enable Iron Man. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Probably get you guys all killed, and then I'll have to have to restart or something like that, and I'll just re regret it forever more. But um, yeah, let's let's have it anyway. Uh, I want to have all of the DLC and additional narrative nonsense going because I've got it. I might as well use it. And now let's uh, let's dip our toes in and see what happens. So we still get some cutscenes though. Even for Advent. I thought this was the tutorial mission, which I said That's not to no do. Ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Maybe I didn't click the uh, skip the tutorial. A trap, a really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. And uh, yes, hello everybody. Um, 
There's a well. While this is going, I'll say hello to everyone. So we've got Mark and uh, and uh, Tack and Persistent and Peter. Um, and did anyone else scroll off the screen while I wasn't looking? If so, then I apologise. But welcome to everybody. Um, even more tutorials, blimey. Uh, yes, it is. It is permadeath. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so the previous game I was playing was the 1994 XCOM. This is the 2016 sequel to the remake, or up modernization. So I, th I think tw I think 2016. It might be 2018 with the DLC actually. Um, so yes, it's it's a much much newer game. Yes, it's a good. 20 years newer, 22 years newer. I just need additional time. Did you say I don't know how much talking I should be doing over the um, over the intro cutscene, to be honest. Uh, we'll just sit here and enjoy it, shall we, for a little while. Yeah, it is a bit more, a bit heavier on the graphics, uh, on the graphics card load, but at the moment it seems to be absolutely fine. I did a brief sort of test run earlier. And it seemed it was fine without streaming. I am now streaming though, so we shall we shall see how it goes. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be implied he got hit. <laughs> Yeah, I was warned when I started the game up that I was running it at an excessively high resolution. Yay, propaganda. <laughs> With their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. There's a lot of intro. Attempted attack by French elements. Operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. He looks like um, David Tennant as Crowley from the uh, Good Omens TV series. And also like a thin man, of course. <laughs> Elders. <laughs> Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Oh, lovely. No, I've not seen uh, Not For Broadcast. Not even heard of it, in fact. The advent of Minnesota reminds you to report all suspicious activity. Approaching position. You were right. Definitely got their hands full today. Scanners aren't very good if they um, picks up some random person and missed her, but. Uh, well. oh, Bradford's been detected. <laughs> yeah, why they didn't just stick with ethereals? Well, I mean, they have stuck with ethereals, but um, they just don't call them that in the in the um, when once have taken over, I suppose. Ooh, explosion! Yeah. Phew, this is a longer intro than I was expecting. Maybe we shouldn't be watching it. Right. So this is the. Um, this is the bit where the is, is this where the intro the um the tutorial starts. Am, am I actually playing the tutorial? In which case you're sort of forced to sacrifice one of your troops because that's just how the tutorial works. I guess we'll find out. We've got a loading screen anyway. That's a start. <laughs> it's time the aliens and the rest of the Advent administration oh no. 
to strike a high profile target. Deploy and approach the designated position. Neutralize any hostile contacts and secure the site. Right, so actually we aren't we aren't accidentally playing this tutorial. Good, I, I managed to get this right. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's a good start. It's the first thing is ooh, that's a bit not very many frames per second. Um, we appear to have just all teleported down here, but that's a start, I suppose. Yeah, so let's see who we've got here to hit to play with us today. We've got um, we have Ed, who I'm going to keep calling Ed, even though it's not his not his nickname. We've got uh, Peter. We have Cheese Wheel, and we have Mango. Right, so hello to every, hello to our, uh, our 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 squad and welcome to the welcome to the game. Those of you who and thank you for submitting characters. All of those who are who are in here, we'll, we'll, I can't get a very good look at them actually in game, but we'll get we'll get a better look in between missions, I think. So, okay, this is our first mission. We have to go over and blow up this giant statue of an ethereal, um, which we can only see the feet of at the moment. Uh, now, XCOM 2 has this nice feature that XCOM 1 uh, didn't, where you start off in concealment, and that's what these uh, ghostly faces at the top of the screen mean. So, at the moment, as long as I don't get too close to any aliens, I can spot them without them spotting me. So I'm going to try and keep the high ground for a little bit longer, because that seems like, um, I, I'm very aware that that gives you much better... Um, much better, uh, much better accuracy, and just generally makes you harder to spot. We've also got cover all the way along here, so let's move our first person over to here. To okay, so we found a group of um, found a group of Advent soldiers down here. So these guys, not particular. Oh, and there's a oh, that's a civilian, I think, down there. So we've got th we've got three three soldiers down here. These are the normal standard tier one mooks. They're mildly dangerous, but not too. But uh, as compared to everything else, not too bad. So I'm going to continue to move forwards a bit. Basically, advance everyone to wherever they can get to without um, without unfortunate things happening. And then we're going to have to alert the soldiers down there at some point and see how things go. Now, my next question is, can I get on top of this building? I can. So let's let's bring Cheese Wheel up onto the top of here with a dash. And if we put put her here, she can't do any shooting, but she can move a little bit further and hopefully have a better better view in the in the next turn. So I've moved everyone in more or less basically into position now. Stop. Pan if the game would stop panning my camera around wildly, that would be nice. There we go. Uh, right. So we've got them all sort of. Clustered together and, um, and 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 sort of tucked out of the way, uh, and it, they're all in half cover and they can all see the enemies. But we're what we're going to put them. We're going to tell them all to hunker down, and that means they're going to basically hide because I don't think these guys are going to move this turn. They're certainly not going to see my troops, so I think we should be all right just trying to hide from them. Uh, no, that's not hunker down. Come on, get up. <laughs> Interface is awful. Why are you not capable of hunkering down? Oh, I, I, I don't know. Sometimes. Okay, so you, you're out of action. You move. You can. Okay, you can hunker down. In position. Why why does Peter not want to hunker down? I don't know. Uh, I've never played either Overwatch or Hunker. <laughs> um, the game doesn't. It sort of has. It has. It certainly has stats. So let, let's see if I can. Let's see if I can find out about somebody by clicking on their name. There we go. So we've got. We've got some stats for each person, um, and, they, and uh, they will gradually, as, as, through the course of the game, they will level up. But the leveling up more gets some ability, extra abilities as well as boosts to their all of their all of their bits and pieces. Oh yeah, you're right. It doesn't have any cover. Why do you not have cover? There's nothing there apparently. All right. Um, you don't have movement points as such because the game has been modernised far too far for that for us to have any of that sort of nonsense. Yeah, let's move them to there instead. There we go. Um, but you do have two. You have two. You essentially have two movement points per turn, rather than having lots and lots that you then work your way through. So I can move, as you can see see down here, I've got this cyan distant line around here, and that's where I can move to on my first move, or I can dash and move all the way to the yellow line, and that's a sort of, that's a double move. You move tw you move twice as far, but you can't do anything afterwards. If you do a single move, you can probably you'll probably then be able to shoot afterwards. Um, if you do a double move, you certainly won't be able to. And I think things like throwing grenades and hunkering down and stuff like that also all count as an additional move. So what I'm going to do here is what we call an Overwatch ambush, where I'm going to tell all of my people to go into Overwatch. Which an Overwatch means they will then be watching for any movement. So if any of the soldiers do move, they should auto the soldiers my, my troops will automatically shoot at them. So I'm going to do that with three of them, like this. I'm on it. And then I'm going to tell Peter at the front here 
to lob in a grenade and only only be able to get two of them. That's quite annoying. Um, presumably because I've already told yes, because I've already told um, Cheese Wheel to to do to Overwatch. I can't I can't tell her to throw a grenade instead. I should have checked that before <laughs> before I put them onto Overwatch. In fact, you know what? There's no time limit on this mission. Let's just Overwatch with this guy as well, and then let the aliens have a turn. Because my hope is. If ideally, what what I want to do is I want to have I want to throw in a grenade which will do three guaranteed points of damage to all three p all three of the enemies down there, um, and hopefully Cheese Wheel will be able to do that. That's the same person. You grenade grenade. No, apparently no matter where no matter who I can't get all three of them with a with, with a single grenade all right let's see if we can let's see if we can move cheese wheel a bit closer then maybe to maybe to here cheese wheel is of course speaking foreign which is um lovely I don't understand the word she's saying there we go now I can get now I can hopefully get yet yeah. uh, it come on get all three it won't. It literally won't let me get all three of them with the same grenade. That's really upsetting. There is no picks. That grenade should should cover all three of them without any difficulty. But for some reason, the game has decided not to allow me to. I mean, come on. How is how is that possibly not covering those two soldiers? <laughs> I, I I call shenanigans on this. The game is clearly cheating. But okay, I guess we'll just have to deal with that. So what what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these guys back onto Overwatch. So as soon as the aliens, as soon as the uh, soldier, enemy soldiers start moving, they will hopefully get some flak coming their way. Scanning. That means I can now take with with cheese wheel. We can now go back to Plan A, and I can throw a grenade at these two, and annoyingly can't get can't get the third one. So let's see how this goes. Oh, three by three hard coded. Okay, right. I suppose that. I'm not going to say that makes sense, but it, it, it there's some, there's a certain logic behind it. All right. Okay, so we'll th grenade, boom, and because I'm playing on lead, whichever whichever level it is I'm playing on, they have four health, which means I can't take them out with a single grenade. Very upsetting. But when they start moving, we can then kill. We can then shoot them all. Hopefully, shoot them all down like this. Oh wow! I am. Um, I have to admit, I'm honestly surprised that worked as well as it did. Um, I'm very, very happy. All th three of my soldiers have, have, have uh, leveled up already, and we took out that entire entire enemy squad without taking any sort of without well put perfectly. It went it went basically absolutely spot on. I'm I'm really really happy about that because. XCOM's never that nice to you. <laughs> um, so, good. I'm, yeah, very, very happy. Now, I suspect, I, I believe there's going to be another squad of enemies somewhere on this map. They're probably going to be tucked away on the other side of this uh, this statue thing. So, I'm going to need to advance slowly up the map and hopefully get them without before they uh, before they manage to get me. Um, yes, indeed, XCOM physics, where, where when you when you kill somebody, there's a reasonable chance of them just flying wildly across the map. That's not the worst thing I've seen from XCOM by a long, long way. Um, the tip, more, a more typical one is where you is where um, someone has a gun literally pressed up against somebody's head because of where they're standing, and then they miss. Um, but that's that's just XCOM for you. So right, let's let's move forwards. Uh, we'll lead with Cheese Wheel. I'm not really sure why because uh, she's used a grenade, but never mind. But we need to advance everyone forward. Yes, there's the place where we need to put the bomb, I know. Menace one five. You're near the target position. Yes, I worked that much out. Thank you, Bradford. Uh, it still amuses me that the uh, the, gu the guy is called Bradford because I, I grew up near relatively near a town called Bradford. So uh, that's, that's, that's always amusing. Right, I think for now we're just going to do a slow advance. We're going to keep everyone in, in uh, safe levels of cover. Or at least nice. ideally full cover, potentially half cover if we absolutely have to because at this point we have broken we've broken the concealment we don't have those faces at the top of the screen anymore and that means if we find any other aliens they will have a uh, they will be just as capable if we see them they will see us basically um so we can't we can't sneak up peek around corners and stuff like that we can't re-enter concealment i believe there are some characters you get later on in the game, or some abilities you get later on in the game, which allow you to reconceal your soldiers. But at the moment, we don't have anything like that, so we just have to move forwards very, very slowly. 
initially uh, you initially you only get four soldiers, but you can then buy upgrades that will allow you to have more soldiers in the future. Um, I haven't obviously haven't got any of those yet because I've just started, but I believe that gets you up to a maximum of six. So we'll tell all these guys to go into Overwatch. So if anything happens, they'll return. They'll they'll immediately start shooting. Yes, as Tax says, uh, we, you, you can potentially get up to up to six if you if you buy all of the all of the juicy juicy upgrades. Now, I kind of want to move somebody forward an unwise distance and get them into full cover up here, in order to flush out the aliens that are bound to be up ahead. But that's going to be that's a bad idea. Maybe if instead, we, what if we move Cheese Wheel to here? This might be a mistake, but I'm going to risk it. There we go, there's another squad up there. Right. So I spotted them. Unfortunately, that means they've also spotted me, and they're moving into more convenient positions, and I didn't have an Overwatch ambush set up. Okay, Cheese Wheel is in a lot of trouble. That was a really bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. I should have known, should have known better. Uh, this soldier here is essentially in a flanking position, which means Cheese Wheel is potentially doomed. Um, yes, you get so so each, each soldier when they um, when they when they level up to from rookie to squaddy, or rec sorry recruit to squaddy, they will get a ra they will they will be assigned a random class, and that class comes with perks like being a, being a sniper or being a heavy weapons person, or being a I think you've got a specialist who gets a little robot to play with, and there's there's, there's stuff like that basically, um, <clears throat> and uh, oh dear. I've, I've, I've screwed this up very, very seriously. Serious. Can I, can I grenade him? I can't grenade. He's even out of range of blooming grenades. I should not have sent. Yeah, I, I thought the, the other soldiers were going to be over here, so I sent Cheese Wheel up to the front. Cheese Wheel is probably going to get killed, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, so each each class will have their own um, ad ad advantages, whether that is having a heavy weapon or having a. Um, uh, having ha having a sniper sniper rifle or, or whatever, um, and and so those those the those that that depends on the class. But you can't you can't choose what to um, uh, what what which what uh, sorry <laughs> you can't choose what class your soldiers get. It, it'll be assigned randomly when they get their first promotion. So you will typically want to um, upgrade as many soldiers as you can, and then start giving them um, and then start using them with as appropriate uh, based on the, based on the class they've been assigned. So, I can advance all my soldiers up here a little bit, and now they are all in range of this guy. No, actually, no, they're not. Two of them are in range of this guy over here, which means I can start shooting at him. But unfortunately, because he's behind this cover here, I've only got a 25% chance of hitting him. And with two soldiers, that's not great. Um, other possibilities. Well, I could get Peter here to throw a grenade in, like this. But he's not. Oh, I might. Oh, that might work. I might, might be able to take out that cover. Let's try this. This is probably my. Hopefully, my, this is probably going to be my best bet for saving Cheese Wheel. Okay, that's not done as much. That's in fact, that's not done any damage to the cover. The cover was indestructible. That's upset, upsetting. So we've got a twenty-five percent chance of hitting here. I don't have any better ideas. Let's see what Mango can do. Okay, it's, it's it's hit and wounded, which is a start, um, but that's not really what I what I needed. I need I need I needed a kill from that because, as as I st say instead, Cheese Wheel over here is out of actions, can't move, and is flanked. I think we might be going to lose Cheese Wheel. Sorry about that, Chloe. I'm <laughs> you've just joined and already you're about to get killed. I, I moved you forwards too far because I was cocky and and didn't didn't expect that to be a problem. Um, so I guess down here we'll take we'll take uh, Ed and put him on Overwatch because he's too far away to do any actual shooting. But yeah, hopefully we'll be able to reincarnate you. Ooh, what, what's that one doing? He's shouting. Ooh. Okay, so he's shooting at the guy who threw the grenade. That's a good thing because that guy is under cover or in cover rather, so he's a lot harder to hit. Um, Oh, Cheese Wheel's getting lucky. Shots missed. And here we go, here's a, a reaction fire. Which has missed, sadly. Okay, so we're not going to get a, a kill from that. Oh, oh dear. Okay, Cheese Wheel has taken a hit, but has not been killed. That's, that's very good news. So firstly, let's get Cheese Wheel out of, out, out of, day, out of um, flanking and, and move around the back here. And then, see, so she, she's used a grenade. 
Um, so I can't I can't throw a grenade in. The the enemies are somewhat spread out as well, um, and we've got the one this guy over here with about seven health, which is rather unfortunate. Peter here is is marked, um, and that uh, and he's got about a fifty percent chance of hitting in each of the enemies. Let's move him forward into heavier cover because all the enemies have done stuff, so none of them are on Overwatch. He's now in full cover, which means he's significantly better defended, and now and now has a roughly fifty percent chance of hitting anyone. He's also used his grenade, so all he can do now is shoot or go into Overwatch. Or, or actually, to be fair, he can reload as well, but that's not particularly useful right now. Mango, is this is this full cover? No, that's only half cover. Can we send you around to do some sort of flanking manoeuvre? Maybe. But by the time you get there, it's going to possibly be a bit late. Um... <laughs> very good, very good persistent, yes. A Swiss cheese wheel is uh, sadly about right. Um, I don't know if the Dutch are known. Well, no, the Dutch are known a little bit for their cheeses. So I could I could run whoever got selected at the moment. I could move Mango up to here, which would be quite nice, or potentially straight to here. But then there's a risk of this guy moving around here for an ambush. I think probably for now. Let's not let's not make the mistake I made earlier with Cheese Wheel. Let's move Mango up to here, where he's not going to be able to, he's not going to be able to shoot uh, anything because there's a there's a statue in the way. But he is at least he is in full cover and therefore somewhat defended. Um, I could, right, okay, so what I think I'm going to do here, where are the other two, there's one over here and one over here, so we're going to take a pot shot at this one first, probably, what, ooh, who can, who can cheese wheel see, can, cheese wheel can see all of them, okay, and roughly 50% chance of hitting any of them, so let's take a pot shot at this one, because he's already wounded, so that means there's a good chance of getting a kill here, um, well, there's a 50% 50, 50 chance of getting a kill, rather, if, if Cheese Wheel can get in a hit. There we go. Nice. And, and Revenge as well, which is even better. So, uh, good. That's that's one of, the th one of the three is now dead. The other two are still at full health. I think I'm probably going to leave... I'm certainly going to leave Mango on Overwatch because he can't see anyone. I, it might be best to leave Peter on Overwatch because I reckon these guys are probably going to manoeuvre to try and get into, better, into a better firing position. The question is what to do with Ed. I could put him behind this lamppost, but that's only that's only partial cover, so it's not going to be quite as good. I, can't, I could get him to here, but then he's not going to have a chance of shooting anything. That's only half cover as well. Everyone else is in full cover, so I kind of want to do this. I, I kind of want to have him in full cover as well, and I'd like to get him forward into a position where he can use his grenade. Let's dash him to here, and then he can perhaps potentially flank around the other side, depending on what this advent officer does. And he can also blow up the uh, the statue as well. So that's... Yeah, let's move him to here. Then he can blow up the statue next turn, which is one of our object... Actually, there's no point... No, there's no point in blowing up the statue before we've killed all the soldiers. Oh, it was Mango or she? I apologise. Um, I didn't look, didn't look closely enough at the characters. <laughs> right, so Peter, I want you to go onto Overwatch, because you've only got... The point is, he's only got... A 46% chance of hitting either of these um, characters over here. So, <laughs> we might get lucky again. We got we got lucky with Cheese Wheel taking out uh, this guy. But these two, but these two I, I, I feel like it's probably better to stick him on Overwatch because he's got some good cover and a not particularly good chance of hitting. We'll stick Mango on Overwatch as well. She can have a go at any, any, anyone who tries to reposition around the other side. There is 20% less aim, yes, but they won't be in cover. Let's see if let's see if I can get some actual numbers on this, um, because that'd be worth seeing. So if I look, if I if I click on, can I get actual numbers on these guys? Uh, no. No. I was, so so yeah, there, there are advantages. Of Overwatch, yes, you get a penalty for, to aim of, of apparently 20%. That that sounds about right. I, I certainly believe that. However, if he moves. He's not going to be in cover anymore, and therefore I'm going to get a bit, a large, probably larger boost to aim from him not being in cover than I would from him. Uh, from, from then I get a penalty. So let's let's put everyone on Overwatch and see what happens. Like that, you see, he's now out of cover. So we still miss, but you know it was a uh, worth a try. <laughs> so where's he got to? Right, so he's he's now around there taking pot shots at Ed. Rather ridiculously. Oh, okay, right. So that that guy's gone on Overwatch. So I can't move any. I can't move my my troops around very much without them being in serious danger. However, I feel like Cheese Wheel should have a good shot against this guy. Still only a fifty-two. 
I suppose there is quite a lot of statue in the way along here. I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like there should be a much better than 52% chance of getting a hit along the side there. Um, let's see if Ed can get both of these. I don't think he can get both of them with a grenade. No, they're, they're too close together. But he can soften up the officer a bit. And the officer is tough enough that I'm concerned about him. Grenade! So we'll do that first. That was a good close-up on the statue there. Well done, game. I, I approve, approve of that. <laughs> uh, right, so Peter has a 28% chance of hitting that soldier. Uh, we have uh, Mango, who can... I can't move Mango because there's, this one's in in, um, in, 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 in in Overwatch. However, if we get if we get Cheese Wheel to take a, 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 a to a take to take a shot at uh, at this one, we've got a 52% chance of getting a hit. We might get lucky. It's but there's a, and there's a. Is that a two-thirds chance of getting a kill if the damage is between three and five? Is it an even distribution? I honestly don't know. We've got a 52% chance of getting a kill, so... Oh, there was some... Yeah, like just like that, in fact. Five damage. Nice one, Cheese Wheel. Well done. Um, I approve of that. So, yeah, when I... I didn't notice that before, but it turns out when you uh, when you aim... When you, when you set up your aim, it tells you... It, well, when you set up your shot, rather, it gives you... It tells you what the, uh, what the where the probability of a hit is coming from. So let's do that with uh, with Peter. So we'll move him up to here, like that. And hopefully, yeah, yes, we've got a flank... We are now flanking that, that soldier. So that means it's a much, much easier shot. As you can see, it's now 72% chance. So click on there. And we can see that we've got... Um, we've got a 65% chance of hit from Peter's... Aim, a bit aim score ability, and a plus seven percent chance due to the range and a... ah right. So we don't, yeah. So we don't have any penalties because we we've got it because he's in, he's visible like that. There we go. Uh, no, the crit critical hits are separate. There's a, a forty. So this guy has a seventy two percent chance of a hit and a forty percent chance of a crit. Now. One of the games, and I can't remember which one it was and whether that, whether it actually got patched out, but I remember being told, so, you know, pinch of salt, I read it on the internet, it must be true, etc, etc, <laughs> that um, the game rolls at, rolls one, produces one number between one and a hundred percent. And so if you, if you, if you get, if you get naught to 40, then it's a crit. If you get 41 to 72, then it's a hit. And if you get 73 or above, then it's a miss. And that means if I hit, if I get a hit, there's a more than 40%, more, sorry, more than half chance of that being a, a crit. Um, I'm not sure if that's the case. Let's let's not worry about the numbers too much and just shoot this guy. Because if he hits him, it's going to be a fatal fatality. There we go. And that was a crit, in fact. That was a hit for five, five points. Excellent. So now... Thank you. Yep, that would be a good idea. Thank you, Bradford. Um, so we know we now know we've killed all of the enemies. There is a weapon over here that, or a weapon part over here that will disappear in three turns if I don't pick it up or end the mission. But you know we've got our people over here. We've got okay. So um, that what Eddie's out of actions. Cheese wheel is out of actions. Everybody, everybody who's close enough to plant the bomb this turn is out of actions. The only person who's got any left is Mango over here. And uh, if I move her to here, well, all right, let's move her to here because why not? Mango, 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 mango. Right. So now can't do anything this turn because it's the end of the turn. But the new turn starts now. We can we can plant the bomb with mango, uh, like that. Plant the X four. Boop. Beep. Boop. 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 And then there we go. So we now we've completed the mission, and now we blow. It didn't show an animation of the squad leaving, which is a little bit of a concern because it kind of looks like we just blew them all up. But but we didn't. We all left and then uh, and and escaped. So we got we did get Cheese Wheel wounded because I made a stupid mistake and moved forward too far out of a bit of sort of over eagerness. But we completed the mission without anyone getting killed, and you know I'll take that. And now we get to see a mission mission photo. So there's our our brave our brave squad. Um, I think that one's that one's Mango. Is that that's Ed? That's um, uh, who, who's, who's the other? That, that's Peter, and that one's Cheese Wheel. Cheese Wheel is very very recognisable due to the. I was going to say due to the purple eyes, but we can't see those. Um, but due to due to wearing bright orange, so that's definitely a help. <laughs> right. So well done, squad. And um, yeah, let's let 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 let's have a photo of you guys. And I, I don't know what we I don't know what we do with these photos, but we'll take one anyway. And continue. 
yeah, even if you run through fire, you do you do get damaged by it. But um, that does indeed does seem it does seem re re relevant. That's a good idea, actually. Yes, I should use that for the. Um, I should maybe I should use the uh, the um, captures from this from this one for the as the uh, as the background for the next stream. That's a good idea. All right, so we took out six enemies. We uh, we had one soldier wound. We, we've talked about this already, but we did complete it in eight turns. So happy with that. Continue. That was indeed the first mission, so uh, I'd say that. Blah 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 blah. World burns around them. We are grateful to the elders for their support. Successful shop percentage hundred percent. What? Nonsense. So we didn't make we did uh, what's success what does successful shop percentage mean? So cheese will most damage, most attacks. Peter got shot at the most, but hit the least, or joint least. <laughs> um and Mango was a move was 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 a sprinter. Okay. So now we can uh, carry on from there and not worry about why it claimed 100% successful shots because there were definitely some missed shots in there. Or maybe maybe all the missed shots were re reaction shots and didn't count. Maybe all the ones I actually aimed had worked. While working with limited resources. Impressive. Come so, as you can see here, we, we scored a promotion for absolutely everybody. Cheese Wheel was, uh, was wounded in that, but not killed, but she'll, she'll be back with us in nine days. So, let's uh, let's let's find out what... Uh, what, 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 what um, uh, what class all of our people are being upgraded to. So, Peter is a grenadier. Lots of exploded explosives. No, you didn't die, Ed. Everyone, everyone survived. We we had a uh, cheese wheel was wounded, but not but not killed. We've not had any any deaths yet. Right. So yes, Peter has been promoted to a grenadier. He now can. He now has a grenade launcher and and a sort of. I was going to call it a mini gun. I'm not sure it really. It's it's it's, it's, it's got three. But it's, it's some sort of heavy heavy machine gun thing. And from what I remember from seeing other people play this game, this gun is more is somewhat you is basically useless. But this gun on his back is absolutely devastating. So. Having the uh, having the minigun not so great, but having the grenade launcher absolutely devastating. You can do lots and lots of damage with that, so that's going to be really useful. He can he can basically he can launch grenades and um, uh, and, um, and 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 that gives him a better better range. He gets more grenades, and I think the grenades might do more damage as well. Uh, he's also get lots and lots of um, lots and lots of extra things as he as he levels up as well. Yeah, the Gatling gun is is a bit pathetic. So let's see what Ed Ed's got. Ed is now dun, 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 a ranger. Capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Right. So Ed is presumably going to move quickly, and he's got a big sword to hit the aliens with. So that's lovely. And he might have a shotgun as well. So he's going to be he's going to be really deadly at short range. Um, but we need to get him up close and personal. And so you might be up you might be up there in the in in the danger zone. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So Ed has got the one he was designed for, uh, to, or pretend for. So yes, we get the slash ability here. So that is basically run up and boop the enemy with your sword. It's a combat boop. It is indeed Ed. Did I call him somebody else earlier? If so, I apologise. Uh, Mango is becoming a uh, specialist with the flighty fly robot things. So as, as Bradford says, the uh, the little robot thing can be flown out and uh, and um, well at the moment the robot can fly out and, and give the and, and be sort of slight and, and give someone a defensive boost. So if you've got some, so basically this 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 synergizes quite well with Ed. So when Ed runs forward to, to poke somebody with his sword and then and then we realise he's a bit in in a rather awkward position, Mango can send over her drone to sit over him and distract the enemies and um, and, and stop them from uh, being able to shoot him quite as easily. So you know these two could work quite well together. <laughs> well, you might, you might still get, um, you might still get specialist persistent because um, I suspect the other one, the other guy, um, so the other person, uh, Cheese Wheel, I suspect is going to get, to, is going to be a sharpshooter because we haven't got one of those yet. But you haven't been promoted yet, so you might get something different. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. 
They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. So, yes, sniper. Now, this is really annoying that the sniper is the one who's been injured um, because the snipers are really, really useful. Uh, and I want, and, um, especially with squad sight. Uh, so, yeah, that kind of sucks. But I guess we'll just have to level somebody else up into, into, a, um, into a sniper as well. <laughs> uh, so squad sight is fantastic. So you, you remember when I was playing when I was playing XCOM One, we had um, you could just shoot blind as long as somebody in the squad could see the uh, the alien, you could just get everybody else to p p pour shots down on them. Squad sight you you can't do that in the new XCOM games, but squad sight sort of allows you to do that. So as long as somebody can see them, this allows your sniper to take pot shots at them, which is fantastic. <laughs> I'm. Yeah, well, I'm afraid you can't. You don't. You don't get to choose. Sadly, there is a mod that allows you to choose what what, what everyone gets upgraded to. But uh, unfortunately, I, I haven't added that one in. Tack, do you get to pick your own perks? You say. Well, um, we'll we'll see. Some of it will depend a little bit on how on whether you whether you pick out sensible things that I agree with. Uh, but I might. I will certainly let you have some input. But I'm 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 bagsying the final say. <laughs> Alright, continue. So here we are, back in the um, big ship of Dwasa. As well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we... Right, yes, the, uh, the stream did go down, sorry about that. Um, not sure what happened. OBS threw a wobbly. Uh, ...planted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. Yeah, not quite sure what happened there. Sorry about that. So, you didn't miss a great deal. We just went over and had a look in the research lab where um, where Tygon is telling us that he's our research chappy and he found this magic chip in, in the commander's head when he was rescued. facility are indeed impressive. I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Okay, so as in um, XCOM, in, in the original XCOM, we are going to be doing research, and we can research into the new weapons, new armor, aliens, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So let's have a look what's available to us at the moment. So at the moment, we can do um, we can do magnetic rifles apparently. Um, that could be quite. That sounds quite nice. We'll get get us better better weapons, and it only takes three days to be done. We could look into hybrid materials, uh, which takes. Interestingly, you use um, use uh, use enemy corpses as the uh, research material for this. So that's uh, interesting. That presumably will get us towards armor. Alien biotech. That this. I think this is a plot related mission, and will take us towards um, finding out about the chip that was found in the commander's head. Um, uh, or we've got a longer research thing here, which will, which will, um, interestingly, I, I don't know, I don't know what this is. This, this is, I think, this is one of the DLC things. The broadcast you're watching has ended. It's still plastered all over the live stream. Lovely. Thank you, uh, thank you, Twitch, for um, being kind of dumb. So I think we're going to do modular weapons first because I would like to get at least a bit of an upgrade available for our guys, so they get, so they have slightly better weapons. Because at the moment, it's take, it takes, it can take two hits to take down even the weakest of enemies. So, I think we'll um, I think we'll go in with uh, we'll go in with modular weapons first, and that's going to be that's a three day research. That area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. So that should get us some slightly better. Um... I'll send word when a complete report is available. Yes, thank you, Tygen. So we'll get some we'll get some slightly better guns, and that shall ho hopefully help us with taking down the uh, taking down the aliens. Uh, some armor would probably be a, be a good idea as well, but. Um... How, how long was the, the alien biotech? Oh, the alien biotech is actually only five days. That's not much longer. Uh, we'll 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 see how things go. Right. So back out to the what, what these buttons. Are. Okay, that's okay. Now I need to go over to the engineering lab. To Shen, but there is one thing I miss more than my lab equipment. <laughs> juicy Advent burgers. Damn hmm. juicy Advent burgers. I don't know where they get the meat, and frankly, I do not want to know. I wonder if there's a barber shop next to it with um, a Sweeney Todd working in it. Okay, so engineering. Another uh, cutscene. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. So Shen also has her own drone. Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. 
and all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. So yes, introduce, introduce to um, the engineers. So we, we have the uh, the two facilities. We've got science and engineering. Um, both of those are asking for more people to help them out. But you know, we'll 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 gather them over over time. Now, is there anything worth building at the moment? Do I have? I've got 175 monies. A difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. So we can make we can make flashbang. We can make med kits. And we can make smoke grenades. And the thing, and the, the funny thing about the way this game works is, this isn't so much a cost to um, for each one. It doesn't cost thirty-five supplies to make one flashbang grenade. It costs thirty-five supplies to make flashbang grenades available forever. Um, so I think I think smoke grenades are going to be worth having. I'll still spend some money on those. Hopefully. Oh no! Oh, sorry. Nah, no, no. It's not quite that. It's you can buy. You have. You can buy enough to equip one soldier at a time with them. So I bought one smoke grenade. That means one of my soldiers can be given a smoke grenade, but they can be given the same smoke grenade every mission, even if they use it. So it's not per. It, it, it is a sort of per item, but it's not. It's not a per item in the same way that it is in um, XCOM One, where you need or the original XCOMs, where you have. Um, where each person has, sorry, each each you actually make each individual smoke grenade or whatever, or grenade or whatever. In this one, it's you make one. You can I can give one soldier one smoke grenade, but then even if they use it, they can another a soldier can be given one smoke grenade in the next mission as well, which is a little bit weird. I think I'll also have a med kit because we did get somebody injured, so I feel like that's a good idea to have one available. I think with a flashbang, I won't worry about too much just now. I think the flashbang is quite good for taking enemies out of Overwatch, but I think a smoke grenade is going to be more useful because it provides a big defensive bonus, and I think that's probably going to be better. There aren't any weapons or armors to build. Uh, we can potentially build facilities, so we have the um, this the Avenger. Alright, so there's room to build one thing up here, but we need to go through here and clean out all of the, um, we need to work through these and clear out all of the alien, all of the debris from um, from the alien craft first. So this, this ship we're in is a crashed, or is, is a repurposed alien spaceship that we're using as our base. So let's see, what, what can we build here? We can build a power relay or a guerrilla tactics school. So how much power have we got? We've got, we've got 15 power at the moment, so we've got quite a lot spare. So I could go in and just build, straight up build the um, Guerrilla Tactics School. It'll take 14 days, um, and then that'll allow me to allow me to unlock things like being able to bring more soldiers. So I think that's going to be a worthwhile one. We'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's running. <laughs> no persistent. We are freedom fighters. We are not terrorists. <laughs> uh, I need an engineer to do this though. So we need we need to we need to recruit some engineers. We should recruit an engineer. Okay, let's continue. What else? What else do we need to go and look at next? Uh, so from here, that's everything done there. Sacrificed the only thing he had left to get this ship off the ground, and I won't let it be for nothing. She might be a little worse for wear right now, but with some new schematics and a little elbow grease, she'll be the toughest thing in the sky. Yeah. So this is this is the ship that we have repurposed as as our base. We've got got some research and power being done over this end. Engineering over here. Uh, we've got Sky Ranger parked over here. We've got, uh, we've got quite a lot of soldiers. Let's go in and have a look at the uh, have a look at the soldiers we've got. Uh, view soldiers. There we go. So. <laughs> So we've got quite we've got a reasonable number of people along here. However, it turns out we ran we then ran out of um, ran out of people who'd sent in their um, uh, sent, sent sent in their their uh, submissions. So we need we need a few more. Um, if people could, yeah. So anyone who's watching who hasn't sent in a soldier, please please create your own soldier using the free propaganda center which you can find on Steam and send it over to me on Discord, and you too can be added into the roster. We do seem to be quite um, Brit heavy, which is nice. That's a good question, Tack. Where is your, where is your character? 
Can I rename one of these to... I can't... I can save to character pool, but I don't need to import from character... That's weird. Yeah, I... So I did... I thought I imported everything, everyone. I'll, I'll import it again later, but not 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 right now because we're in the middle of the session. So yes, we have some, we have some soldiers available. Blah 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 blah. We have to have these all these soldiers, and we'll try and take some of them in uh, in, in later. Uh, okay. Um, a few photos. Oh, the photos are these sort of things, right? Fine. And now let's head over to the bridge and see what's see what's happening next. And another cutscene. Good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge. The nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Hmm, that's weird. So I did get. I went through and I I, I imported them all. So um, let's see. All right, let's let's have a look at that because it is a, it's a bit of a uh, bit of a concern. That I don't seem to have all the people I should have. Um, it's okay. I don't need another cutscene to tell me I've just am exiting uh, quitting the game. Can I have a menu, perhaps? There we go. So character pool. Could have sworn I imported everyone, um, but you're you're right. Mark and um, and Tack are missing. There's Tack. Uh, import that one. Import and Mark. Import. Right. So you will probably yeah. You might not appear right now, but you will. Uh, you will. You might not be in. You might not be added to the squad now. But you should be the next two soldiers who appear, I imagine. And so I'll definitely, um, I'll definitely prioritise you guys for, for 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 using over the over the people who don't have any names. Let's go, let's go and check the here again, just in case. A few soldiers. Yeah, it hasn't it hasn't conveniently renamed people, but I'm sure the next I'm, I'm sure the next people we hire will will show up as our as the um, as you guys. So, well, as expected, the sharpshooter has the best accuracy. We've got a couple of people with 68s in there and the grenadier with the lowest, but that doesn't matter because grenades go bang and always land in the right place, I believe. Uh, and then all uh, the rookies are all in about 65 as well. Oh, yeah, anyway. So, um, yes, we were talking about propaganda and stuff like that. So, um, 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 what was I going to say? Yeah, the basic plot behind this game is that we lost the, the Battle of XCOM 1. So, it sort of retcons the, the uh, successful play you, you, we, somebody will have had through of the, of the original XCOM game. One of our Ooh. resistance contacts just a thing. to a site that may be worth investigating. So we we yeah we lost we lost the original battle against the aliens the aliens took over and now we're playing a, a resistance force or freedom fighters freedom fighters not terrorists <laughs> um, who are that now attempting to um, attempting to sort of drive the aliens back and and take and and, and save the earth from the uh, from from the alien menace uh, so all right let's go over and investigate that because I don't have a choice there is nothing else to do. XCOM 2 has an unusual sort of system for, Commander, for doing things. Scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. So unlike in the um, in the original XCOM, you would just you would just scan with your radar systems in all of your bases, and when you saw when you saw a UFO, you would go out and attack it. In this one, you go out and you spend time with the with your Avenger scanning specific. Uh, points of interest that will pop up on the globe. So at the moment we've got a disabled truck over here. If we scan it for five days, then it'll then we'll be at, then we'll get a mission where we could probably get a mission, but we'll get the supplies from it. So we'll we'll, we'll do that because there's nothing else to do at the moment because it's right at the beginning. But during that time, we can also research the modular weapons. There we go. So we've now learnt about modular weapons. Presumably that means we'll now have to um, we'll probably now have to go through and, and actually research each individual type of, ma of of magnetic weapon. Oh, now we can research magnetic weapons and, up and upgrade. Okay, so there's some, there's some stuff, exciting stuff here. So modular weapon, blah 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 blah. Right. Okay. Fine. So now. We can start do upgrading and weapons, fine, and we can now look. At, so we can still do hybrid materials for armor potentially, uh, biotech for plot, magnetic weapons. So this will get this. This will upgrade our existing weapons. But that's going to take 28 days. 
Let's have a look into these experimental weapons first, because that's only 10 days, and I think that might be a bit more, um, have a bit more potential. Yes, indeed, weapon attachments and stuff like that. Um, I think the, I think we, we only pull characters out of the, out of the character pool to turn them in. So, I don't think, I don't think when you start a game, it assigns all of your character pool to soldiers or VIPs or whatever. I think whenever a character is required, whether they're a soldier or a VIP or a dark VIP, then it pulls somebody out of the um, out of the character pool to to use them. Um, so I think you should you should still appear next time we have any new soldiers appearing. So yeah, hybrid material. It's, it's only three days actually, and yeah, all right. Let's let's go for that one. Let's get that. Let's get, do do the hybrid materials because I think armor could be quite useful, um, and just try and try and get us um, a little bit a little bit safer. Exactly, Tack. Yes. Realistic expectations as to the limited resources and facilities available to me on board the Avenger. I have to say, it's taken some getting used to, even with the ship's dampening field. Frequent turbulence and the occasional evasive maneuver make it difficult to conduct experiments blah, blah, blah. with any notable sensitivity. I may have to adapt my research techniques to maintain efficiency under these conditions. Resource located. Right, so we found a, a transport truck that's broken down. Um, we've repaired, re helped help, help the guy repair his vehicle, and he's given us 59 supplies in return to say thank you. Okay, that's great. So we don't need to go and... Um, we don't need to go off and do any, um, any any attacking of anything. Ah, here we go. So now we can go over here. We can investigate this one, and uh, we'll get some rookies from that. And so that should hopefully give us uh, give us characters for Tack and Mike to play. Uh, Mark to play. Sorry. Fly over there. Seven. Another seven days scanning at scanning this thing, and that will allow us to get a little bit of the um, a little bit of this research done as well, which is nice. Another that. important step forward in our research. So we've got hybrid materials now. So now with the research, we got we can we can choose to either oh we've got nanoscale vests that's that's quite nice. The problem with the nanoscale vest is it takes up your inventory slot, but we'll talk about that again in a moment. So we could we could research plated armor if we had any alien alloys, but we haven't yet. So I think at the moment we either do the experimental weapons at ten days or we do the um, magnetic weapons at twenty eight days. I think the experimental weapons because this will get us something this will get us an advantage in the field a bit sooner and a bit more quickly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there, there's there's a lot of um, there's lots of box text in this game. Science is indeed very very eager. Yes, just do do, do the science. Please do the science. Okay, let's do. Oh, Commander, as the resistance continues, uh -huh. to go, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so. We'll right, on. so this is quite useful. We can we can pause our scanning of this this thing over here to fly over here and go in and do a do a guerrilla op, go and take out a commander. Uh, it's an easy mission apparently, and it'll get us an engineer, which is nice. So we'll uh, scamper over there and get that one done. I think that's prob that's probably a good idea. Uh, let's just yeah, let's let's get let's go for that because I think I think well, firstly having engineers is a good idea, and secondly going out and fighting the aliens is probably a good idea. It might lead to the odd death, but um, it will also help us get things going. So who have we got this time? The default it's given us is uh, Peter with his grenade launcher. We've got Ed with his, uh, sh probably a sh not pro not actually, oh a shotgun. Yes, he does have a shotgun. Uh, Mango with her assault rifle and little droney jobby. And Bagel with his recruitishness and uh, in inability to do anything useful apart from take, well he's got a grenade actually. Grenade's quite useful. So let's have a look at these characters. So the loadouts are, um, are definitely definitely relevant and interesting. Um, so as you see here, we can choose the armor. At the moment, we only have Kevlar armor, uh, so we, we can't do anything. We can't do anything interesting there. He does have a cannon. We can't change anything there because he's a grenadier. Uh, we have a grenade launcher, which is great because that's I think is going to. It says secondary weapon. I think this is going to be his primary weapon. Probably going to be the one he uses most. And then we have um, a couple of slots in uh, slots for utility items down here and grenades. So, so yeah. Basically, Peter is going to go in. He's just going to blow everything up, which is going to be fantastic. Oh, congratulations on the chocolate. I, I, I approve. <laughs> so, yeah, Peter's going to go in and blow everything up. We could change some of his grenades out for other things, though. So, because he's already got two grenades, I think we'll also give we'll give him a smoke grenade as his utility item. Um, we can't change that one over. 
Well, should we maybe change that med kit and that to you? Yeah, so we, we could have him go in with a grenade launcher um, and, and a med kit and a smoke grenade and have a bit of everything with this guy. But I think... I don't know how many grenades he gets. Does it tell me? Um... So he has a bonus grenade range of 4 and radius of 1. So it's a bigger explosion and it can fly further. So that's great. But I, th I don't know how many he gets. That's the problem. Um, I don't know why... Yeah, I don't know why his will is 43 out of 46. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe he's, maybe he's a little bit scared about the idea of going in against the aliens. Uh, let's take the let's take the smoke grenade away from him. Give him a second. Give him a frag grenade just in case he only gets one grenade in the launcher or something silly like that. So I think that's probably quite a good loadout. Next up, we have Mango. Uh, what have you got? You've got Kevlar armor as well. You get an assault rifle, and that's all you can carry. Fair enough. You get the Gremlin as your secondary weapon, and that's all you can have. Again, fair enough. That's sort of that's sort of what you're for. Grenade. We we could give uh, Mango a smoke grenade and and turn her into a sort of full on um, defensive. Um, but I think having the frag grenade for, for explosion damage is no. Let's yeah. I think having I think having frag grenade for explosion damage is probably going to be very useful there. Uh, over here we have uh, cheese wheel who gets the sniper rifle. That's the only choice. Pistol is the only choice here, um, and frag grenade. I think hopefully cheese wheel is going to be far enough back that she won't be being. Um, oh, actually, hang on. Cheese wheel should not be coming on this mission because she's injured. Let's take Cheese Wheel out of the roster. Um, how do we do that? D -d 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 not, I don't want to dismiss the soldier. Uh, I want to. Oh, it was flicking through. Okay, it was just flicking through all of the soldiers. That oh, that makes more sense. So we did we did Mango. Now we're on to Bagel, who we want to edit as well. He's. I don't think we're going to change anything here. So the problem the problem with the uh, with any of your characters. I'm and also I'm not convinced by that face. I don't think that looks anything like me. But never mind. I know there's limitations of. Um, no, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Uh, anyway, the problem the problem with uh, with the, the so, dip. So we talked about the Kev the, na the nanoscale vest earlier, which is a piece of armor you can put on somebody to give them a little bit more health. The problem is it goes into the utility slot, so you get a choice between grenade, smoke grenade, um, health pack, and or you can ha or you can send them in with with the extra armor. So in a way, the armor isn't really u isn't particularly useful because it takes away the it takes away the grenade you kind of want them to have. Um, I haven't given anyone the smoke grenade, which is probably a mistake. Ed is going to be a yeah. Let's give the smoke grenade to let's give the smoke grenade to Mango. I think because I said give the smoke grenade to Mango. There we go. Um, because right. So the, 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 my, my theory here is that we're going to have. Um, we're going to have Peter do it bl basically blowing stuff up almost all the time. He's got his grenade launcher. He's got he's got his second grenade as well. But he can also patch people up if absolutely necessary. Um, Ed is going to be running in, getting up close, booping the aliens with his sword or blasting them in the face with his shotgun. Uh, and he's always, so because he's going in, and I want him to do lots and lots of damage. He's taking in the uh, the, the, the grenade as well. Mango is going to is. Going, it's going to be more of a defensive person, a defensive unit. So she's going to be either using smoke to cover people if they're in an awkward place, or using the drone to cover people if they're in an awkward place. Bagel is a rookie, and therefore he's got he's got a grenade because he can't be trusted with anything else. So let's go and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'd, uh, yeah. I suppose you do. Yeah, you do get a sword in Doom Eternal, don't you? And definitely get definitely get shotguns in Doom. It's, it's famous for that. Um, but also you get lots of explosives as well. So maybe, maybe they're all trying to play Doom. But I suppose, yes, actually the running up and getting right into the aliens' faces, that's a very Doom thing. So, let's go. Oh yeah, it's a chainsaw, isn't it? No, you do get a sword as well in one of the, in one of the new Doom games. Yeah. Right, so let's go in and take out the ranker. Here we are, we are in some sort of warehouse by the look of it. Right, so. Okay, basically, go and kill everybody. Nice. 
So, press... Oh, okay, it doesn't seem to do anything. So, um, yes, what, what what is the play area? The play area is not much this way. There's there's lots of these red dots around the edge of here. Maybe that's saying if you leave the play area, then you'll then you'll be spotted. Then you're spotted. I don't know. Um, there seems to be quite a lot of map over off to this direction. So I'm going to assume that's the way we want to go. So let's let's try for um, let's try for some try for some ups try for some high ground. Uh, this doesn't look particularly useful as high ground goes because you can't go anywhere from it. Over here looks like a significantly better route to go. Do we have a timer? We do not have a timer. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Or possibly not see. So we'll take Ed. I think Ed is basically going to be our scout and general forward forward planner. No, forward forward um, unit. So we'll bring him up up here first. Move into position. Scamper up the uh, up the pipe. Good. I want to keep everyone sort of together, but not really, really bunched up. So let's put who else have we got? Let's put Bagel up here behind this wall. So he's going to be in complete. He's going to be in full cover. I'm seeing some alert flags over here. Does that mean there's? Does that mean there's enemies inside this room? Maybe it does. If, if so, I shouldn't know that. So actually, let's not. Let's put him here. So he's behind this. Hmm. I don't know actually. Where's a good place to put him? What if we put no Ed isn't isn't gonna be able to see anything that moves down there. What if okay, let's let's move um uh, who's this? This this is this is Mango. Let's move Mango over to here behind this wall. And hopefully we can put it if closing on target position no. Okay. And if I put her into Overwatch like that then if Bagel does find any enemies, she might shoot them when they activate. I, I sort of don't expect him to at this stage. It feels like it's too close to the starting point. But, you know, I'm mildly paranoid. At least my character sounds British. I appreciate that. And Peter, uh, let's put let's 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 move you up to here, I think. It's a bit further of more of a run, and that's unwise with the last move of the character, but last move of the turn, but never mind. I think it's early, early on enough that we're probably okay. Okay, Peter. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for stop, stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the stream, and you'll uh, rejoin us next time. Uh, videos as usual uh, on Friday, Saturday. There's a lot of alien alien activity. Does that mean a lot of aliens? It probably does. Um, and you know all the all the other good stuff that happens on the channel. So we'll be uh, back back for another stream. Why can't you move to there, Bagel? Goodness sake. Uh, yeah, we'll be back with for another stream on Monday with Factorio, and back for another stream of this on, next uh, next Wednesday. And so far, things aren't going too badly. Famous last words, I know. So much for, so much for making Ed go first, I forgot about that. Let's move him forwards to here, because then he's in full cover. Part of me wants to fan my, soldier, my troops out to try and explore better. Um, but a much larger part of me knows that's a really stupid idea, and so I'm not going to. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Jeremy. So there are there are spotted icons over here, which makes me think there's somebody in this in this room, which is why I'm being sort of slightly cautious about it. Um, maybe they're maybe they're right out over here or something like that. In which case, uh, hopefully Ed will get a good look at them in a minute when he come, when he moves over over up here somewhere. Uh, and in, in a minute means in a turn or two, of course. Okay, let's move um, Mango forward to to here. Moving. That. Is that a, did everybody move? I've, I've, I've lost count, and I've got, I mean, I've got four soldiers, and I still managed to lose count of them. Right. So yes, in this room is an alert area. Out here, not so much. Let's move to here then. I'm on the move. Yeah. So we've not seen, still not seen anything. I think there must be, there must be an alien out here, out, out in this area. So we'll, we'll, we'll find out in a turn or two. So Overwatch time for everybody. I'm sure there's a mod for. In fact, I thought it installed the mod for putting everybody into Overwatch with um, one button press, but apparently not. Okay, so Bagel has heard noises, suspicious sounds down this way. Oh, that might be it, Jeremy. That's a good point. Yes, if, if they burst, burst through a window, then uh, then they make a loud noise, as you say. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot more sense, actually. Thank you for thank you for the um, clarification. 
an explanation and other words, other similar words. So we'll move Ed over. Actually, if we if we heard aliens up this way, that's probably a good way to go, really. So we'll move Ed to here so we can keep an eye on everything that's going on down there. Oh, he spotted some. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Great, it's just what I need. All right, let's put Ed into better cover. Because, I, well, firstly, I don't want him to be spotted. Secondly, I don't want him to be shot at. And if, if, if they do shoot, I don't want them to hit him. So, right, we'll do that. Then we'll move everyone else up. So next turn, we can do an a, uh, um, an a, uh, we can do a proper ambush. I'm technically a professional XCOM streamer, since I am getting paid a nominal amount for it. <laughs> move Bagel up to here. What's this room like? You might be able to get a flanking attack through there, actually. Maybe I should send Mango around that way, since we're running out of cover over here. Uh, or better, actually, let's send Mango through the door over here. Can we get to there without... No, we'll alert them because we'll open a door, and apparently that's noisy as well. All right, let's put Mango here for now, and then put her somewhere more sensible next turn. Okay, that seems to be reasonably good. How, how, can Ed, Ed, can you still see the aliens? Yes, you can. Excellent. Good. So what I'm going to do next turn is lob a grenade out with uh, Peter, blow them up, and then attempt to do to do useful things from there. So let's let's actually let's hunker down because I don't want to go onto Overwatch um, because I don't want to actually start shooting them. <laughs> um, Yes, the aliens have got significantly more. Um, uh, well, the, the sectoids have got significantly bigger and beefier than they did in, than they were in the original games. Um, oop, they are coming this way. Hopefully, that'll make them even easier to kill. They haven't spotted us. That's good. On oh, the flank now, even better. Oh no, they spotted us. Oh damn it! I should have left. I should have stayed in. I should have overwatched them. Because now they've scattered like that. Ah, oh, goodness sake. Oh, and there's another one over there who's probably going to run over and start helping. What's that? What does that symbol mean? I have no idea. Oh, it's he's the general. Okay. Take him out before they can escape. We won't get another shot at this. Oh, dear. Okay, so he's not he's not running away at least, but he does have an enormous amount of health. Okay, right, so that did not go to plan because the aliens advanced on us. That's very unhelpful. Um, so, we've got one, we've got one guy here, and I think the best our best bet here with this might be to send Ed down to poke him with his sword, to be quite honest. Although then Ed will be very, very exposed, so actually no, that's not a good idea. Peter, have you got a flanking position? You have not. Um, you've got a 72% chance of hitting, though. that's pretty likely. Or I could get you to lob a grenade over here. And, to, and sort of disturb this guy. Um, or we could try shooting the, the officer down the far end there. But there's only a 17% chance of hitting, so let's not do that. Um, okay, so let's. What's, what's our best bet? Can we move Mango to here? Yes. Then, so what do we what do we think? If I put Mango in here behind the behind the door here, will she have a flanking shot on this this guy? I think she will. And that, that hopefully will not guarantee a, a, a crit, but will give us a good chance of one. So let's try that. Through the window. Open the door. There we go. Flanking shot. Nice. 84% chance. Good. So we'll uh, we'll shoot this guy in the face. 84% chance. Weapon range six, boost of 16 for some reason. I don't know why. There we go. Nice crit there. It's taken him out with a single shot. Well done. I approve of that. And the other adva the other nice thing about that is that Mango was previously in a slightly awkward position where she couldn't easily get out to shoot at anyone. So having moved over to here, she's now in an excellent position, full cover, and a si sight line down the um, down down the uh, down the shoot over here. So next thing to do is for Peter to launch a f launch a grenade. Can you get that guy? You can get that guy. Excellent. Let's do that then. 
Okay, so he does only get one grenade, one grenade in his grenade launcher, which is a shame, but it at least upsets that bloke, that chap a bit, which is what we're all about here. The others, right, I'm not sure what to do with Ed, because he's carrying a shotgun, which is a short-range weapon, so if we try and shoot this guy down here, it's a 46% chance, but we've got, uh, the alien is in high cover, so we get a 40% loss on that one, we got, he's out of, really out of shot, kind of out of shotgun range, so we get a, a minus two penalty there as well, so there's only a 46% chance of hitting, um, and it'll do damage of four to six, a very, a very unlikely crit. Alternatively, we could move Ed down to here, and which, which point he'd be in low cover, so he'd be less defended against the flak that's going to come in from these guys. But he'd have a better chance of... Probably a better chance of doing some damage to that alien. Alternatively, alternatively, we could run to here and stab the alien with the sword. But then he would be very, very exposed to any attacks from this guy over here. So I think that's a very bad idea. Let's... Hmm. Let's leave Ed up there for the moment. We'll have Bagel open up with a grenade because that's all rookies are good at, and we'll we'll, t we'll put this one against the um, against the sectoid. Hopefully, are you even capable of throwing it to there? Yes, there we go. I think that's a. No, they're supposed to light up red when I'm going to hit him, and that looks like it should get the sectoid, but it's not lighting up in the way I expected to. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, so that's probably going to be. Potentially four, to potentially take the sectoid down to half damage. I think that's worth doing. Fire in the hole. There we go. Yes. Um, yes, there are indeed. There are definitely. There are upgrades that will get you um, better. Um, oh, is he out? Of, ah, next. Excellent. That alien is now out of cover because I blew up the cover that was that was hiding him. So now. Ed can get can get in a a, a, a be, much more much better chance of a shot. He's got an eighty six percent chance of hitting um, because he's now flanking flanking the alien. So he loses the uh, loses the minus forty percent down here. Excellent. So we'll get Ed to do that. That'll probably take out the um, the sectoid. Um, yes, as as um, as who is, it? who is it? As Peter gets better, as he levels up, he will be able to carry more and more grenades for his grenade launcher. So yes, there will be general improvements to to, to, to him, as you'd hope. There we go. Nice shooting, Ed. I approve of that. Excellent. Uh, oh, that's an advent escape area. Okay. Oh, okay. I've got ten turns to um, to kill the kill the kill the general. Now it's rather upsetting that he'd run off like that, but I suppose we're just going to have to chase him. Um, I I don't. Problem is, I don't. I'm worried about running after him because the chances are we'll find another pod of enemies and then we'll be in trouble. So let's put Peter up against the wall over here because then even if we do find more enemies, he's well defended. And that'll give us an exp explore, an exploration to allow us to know whether it's safe to just charge everyone else forwards. And it is. So we'll just bring everyone forward at high speed now and we'll see if we can catch up with that guy. We do have 10 turns to take him out. So as long as he doesn't just keep sprinting... We should be okay. Ooh, is there useful high ground up? There is useful high ground up here. Okay, let's send Bagel the Rookie over this way as well. And get him up here. Location confirmed. I should probably get somebody into position to grab that um, loot from the... Uh, from the, um, what's name? The dead sectoid. So let's, yeah, let's bring Ed down here to get the, get the loot. And then keep moving as well. <laughs> Very dramatic, Ed, I approve. <laughs> You can sprint over here. Can you grab the uh, can you grab the loot from there? Yes, he can. So we've got an Illyrium core. Nice, I approve of that. Yep, thank you, Tack. I uh, yeah, I, I I I did notice. Now we've we've we have overdone it a little bit with our oh okay. So the alien the uh, the Advent Camp Commander Captain guy has gone into um, has gone into Overwatch, which is somewhat unfortunate because it means if we if he spots us, he gets a free shot at us. So we don't we don't like that. That's not what we want to see. Can we get anyone up into into a useful position? Yeah. Okay. So we, if we put um, Mango up here by this window, Running. then the commander won't get a chance to spot her. Hopefully, damn it, he will. Okay. Fortunately, there's a massive great wall in the way. Oh, we found another pod of enemies. That's all very unhelpful. <laughs> Okay, I sent her up there. 
because I thought that was going to be relatively safe and she's in full cover um, and I was hoping that, the, that there was cover, you know, all the way up this ladder because there's a massive great wall in the way but apparently there's enough holes in the wall that she was spotted going up there and took some flag. Um, that's a flanked position. How is that a flanked position? Uh, hmm, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, probably down, yeah, down here would be a good place. That's that's a long move, that's a short move. From him to here, yeah, if I, if I go to here, then he can go on Overwatch and shoot any soldiers who try and approach us. Or shoot at any soldiers who try and approach us, at least. That's my best idea for him. Then, over here... I guess... Yeah, if we have... Peter moves to here by the door. On the move. Now, I'm not going to open the door just yet. But if he does open the door here... In, actually, open the... Where's, where's the commander? There's the commander. That's the guy we need to, we need to pummel as much as possible. Um... Hmm... I can't get him from here. He's way out of range. I could get Peter to open this door and try and shoot at these guys. There might be a ch small chance of a flanking shot there. I'm not sure. Ed, we need to just generally get forward and get into a, into a useful position because at the moment he's just too far back. Um, how about over here? Yeah, let's move him to there where he's far enough back that he shouldn't get shot at and he'll be defended by Bagel, but he's close enough to be able to do something useful next turn. Bagel, I want you on Overwatch. The only person left now is Peter. I think he's in sufficient cover that let's try. Let's risk opening the door, even if it alerts the aliens to the fact that he's here. Oh, he, he, can't, he still can't see any of them, so he's not going to be able to do anything from there. That's a shame. Okay, well that's um, that's a start. So we've got one guy on Overwatch. We've got two people. We've got all. Th we've got three people in places where they're going to easily be able to get shots next turn. So. I think now we'll just go on Overwatch as well with uh, with Peter and see what happens. Because he's coming over. Ah, there we go. That's why he's on Overwatch. He can apparently shoot through a wall and kill an enemy soldier th through it. I mean, that was some amazing shooting. I, I'm, I'm very impressed. Being able to not only shoot through a wall, but get a kill through it is very impressive. Uh, there is a wall there, thank you very much. You're not supposed to be able to shoot at Mango. That guy is still running away. We've got eight turns. That's not too bad. I should be able to should be able to manage this in eight turns. Okay, Mango. What can you see? You can see that guy there who was shooting at you before, and you've got a seventy one percent chance of getting a hit. He's got four health. It's probably going to be a kill. I think that's worth. I think that's worth trying. I think. I, th I think a seventy one percent chance is worth going for. Um, yeah, let's try it. Damn it! It was a hit. But it wasn't a kill. Bagel. Um, so what's what's the cover like over here? I think this 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 this. I don't know. I was going to say it calls calls for a ranger attack, but I want I want to I want to keep him moving forward so that he can close in on the uh, on on the VIP and uh, and, t and take the advent officer out. But uh, so I, think, I guess that means we'll bring Bagel round to here. And that, yes, that should give him a flanking position. He should be a basically a guaranteed hit. And if not, then I shall cry. So we get to there. Yes, now, now we're flanking that guy. So we've got, we've got still only an 85% chance of hitting. My god. I mean, okay, I'll take that. It was a successful hit. And now Bagel has earned a promotion, so we'll have an actual rank in the next, uh, next, next time we come out here. That's good. An actual, sorry, an actual um, classification, whatever you want to call it. Right, move him over there. Yeah, yeah. I know Peter wasn't quite in the ideal place for uh, for getting getting a shot off, but uh, as you say, as you say, the wall was kind of in the way. But it did, yes, it, it definitely worked out very nicely. Uh, let's get over here behind this this cover. There's so I think we can see um, we can see everything that's going on around here. We don't. I don't think there are any more aliens. So I think I'm, I feel okay about putting Peter over, over to here with a dash like that. He's also in heavy cover, which is nice. What's the commander doing? Okay, he's going in there. 
Oh dear, Bagel's in trouble. Okay, Bagel was in trouble. And Mango is on fire. Okay, we need to do something about that. Um. <laughs> okay, Mango, let's get you out of there. Um. Where's some good cover? Here's some good cover, but you won't be able to shoot at the at the VIP. Let's move to here, I think. I think that's probably a good place. Actually, maybe... Oh, no, no. Actually, no. Wouldn't, she wouldn't have been able to get the shots off. Right, so we'll do that. So what I'm going to... What was that? Oh, a bloop for that. So only a 38% chance of hitting there, unfortunately. So what I think I'm going to do... Is, well, I could throw a frag grenade, but no. Let's let's use Ed's slash attack. Um, which sounds worse than it is. Right, so we'll run in here. That's going to take care of most of this guy's health, if it hits. But it's only a 78% chance of hitting with the sword, which is a bit depressing. But we'll give it a try anyway, because, you know, it's a cool thing. We'll... Yes, there we go. Four, four damage. So now he's got one, two, three. He's got five health left. We just need to somehow deal with that. So, you. Do you have a grenade left? You got to, oh, you're the one with the smoke grenade. That's a shame, actually. Because uh, the smoke grenade, would, with the, the, an actual grenade there, would have been would have been very, very useful. Um, let's bring Peter forward to here. Because one of the nice things about XCOM, or one of the ridiculous things about XCOM, depending on how you look at it, is you can place grenades with extreme... Um, where's his other grenade? Oh, he had a med... What? He was supposed to have a grenade to look with his launcher. Okay, apparently he doesn't. Um, maybe the grenade in his inventory was launched by the launcher rather than being... I thought that was he gets a grenade with his grenade launcher and an additional one in his um, in his pockets is, but apparently not. So it's a good thing I didn't turn that one into a um, into a smoke grenade or he'd have had to fire that with his... Um, um, what do we call it? Uh, grenade. You'd have fired a smoke grenade with his launcher instead, and that would have been very unfortunate. So we've only got a thirty-seven percent hit chance here, which is rather tragic. Um, I think we're going to go for it anyway. Ooh, successful! Well done, Peter. I'm very impressed. I wasn't. I honestly was not expecting that to hit, but I thought if we have about three people with um, poor um, percentages, we'd have a chance. Okay, so there's some more aliens around somewhere. Uh, we don't know where. So I think for now, we'll put you on Overwatch, like so. And Bagel will get you in cover and then put you on Overwatch as well. So, I don't know where the... problem is, I don't know where the aliens are going to come from. But we think this area this area seems to be clean because we've come through it. Uh, so I'll move up to here. And then we can Overwatch with this guy. So we've got two people on Overwatch, that's not too bad. There we go, there's one. If you could move so we can get the overwatches in, that'd be nice. Here they come. They're not, mo they're not moving in a sufficiently helpful place. That's un it's kind of unfortunate. Oh, and I think the rest of Mango's wall has just um, exploded. <laughs> yeah, there's a distinct lack of wall up there now. Right, so what are we going to do here? Well, um, Bagel has used his grenade, so we're not going to do that. Um, Mango, you've got a smoke grenade uh ed you you're in really you're up up close and very 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 up close and personal so what do you what do you think what do you fancy doing so you can you are being flanked by that guy yes we know about that we can either go in and sword that one or we could run out we could actually here's an idea let's play this defensively so we'll bring ed up here onto the roof Like this. Yeah, because Ed wouldn't be able to kill that sectoid with a single shot. So we'll bring Ed up onto the roof and go onto Overwatch. Overwatch. Hopefully the uh, the sectoid will come barreling out of the door here and everybody will shoot it. Otherwise, who, who, we've, got, we've, got, we've got everyone in quite good positions, but they're all only in half cover, which is a little bit upsetting. I could put... They're all. I mean, they're, these are all excellent positions because if, if the soldier comes around the corner here or if the sectoid comes out of the door here... Everybody is going to, pretty much everybody's going to be able to shoot them. Um, Peter will be very, very flanked, unfortunately, so that's not good. Let's move him to here. Yeah, there we go. So everyone's in half cover, and everyone will be able to get in some good Overwatch defences with, with any luck. Uh, Overwatch attacks. Because the aliens can't really do. Okay, they can do psionic nonsense, apparently. Oh, goody. 
Psionic zombie zombies, just what we need. Did not want uh, did not want a zombie, especially not a mind controlled zombie. Okay, so it's my turn again. What have we got? We've got so we've got um Oh, here's a thought. We could put this smoke up here and then try and get everyone inside it. If we put it hit here, it's gonna get these two. It's gonna exclude Peter, unfortunately, but we can move him over to the other side of Bagel and he'll be covered as well. He just won't have as good a shot for any um, enemies that are coming out of the door. <clears throat> there we go. Peter, you got the you brought the med kit, which was a, which was a tactical error. I I accept this now. I uh, I, re I regret that. Um, Ed, can you do anything useful with your grenade? Maybe. Uh, can you put it over here, please? Don't blow yourself up. That would be silly. Okay, so you can damage the zombie. That seems like a worthwhile thing to do, to be honest. Let's do that. Can't get two of them with it, unfortunately. But damaging one of them is probably is, is, is definitely worthwhile. Now I should be going for the um, the sectoid, but that's hidden right in the back of this room and is difficult to get at. So we're not going to be able to do a great deal about that. But now that otherwise, let's do have a couple more Overwatches down here, and then if that zombie comes out or if the um, if the sectoid comes out, we'll be able to shoot them like this. That has completely minced the zombie. That's excellent. Uh, oh, and Peter has run out of ammunition. So we'll give him a, a quick reload. Like that. Chunk. And now he's... Is he ready to do an overwatch as well? Or can he only... Hunk no, you, so you, oh, you can't reload and overwatch. That's, oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. So you can reload. You can go back into overwatch now. So we could just sort of... Yeah, let's just sit here with the overwatches and see if that sectoid wants to come out and play with us. Um... Like that, and that, and that, and that. Yes, here we go. That's what we want. Shotgun blast from above. Minigun blast from there. And one very, very dead sectoid. Excellent. Right. I would say that was a rather good mission. Even says flawless down here. So, we, yeah, we managed to take out all eight of the enemies. It took us 11 turns, admittedly. And, and by it, it, us, I mean me. <laughs> um... It took 11 turns, but nobody was even hurt, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> Look at Ed's face. He isn't, he's very, very, um, <laughs> very, very, um, what, what's, what's the term? Definitely, definitely, definitely he's showing us his fierce face. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit gormless. Peter is staring off into the distance in a sort of thousand yard stare kind of way. And Mango is just looks, just, but Mango looks as if Ed has upset her, to be quite honest. <laughs> Oh yeah, he is, you're right, he's stabbing Mango through the legs. No wonder Mango looks unimpressed. <laughs> What's the hide poster do? Oh, I see. I can get rid of the text across the bottom. That's a much better shot. I'm not sure what that is on the floor, but never mind. <laughs> Ed is the face of the adventure. Yes, yes, very much so. <laughs> right, well, yeah, pleased with that. Um, I, yeah didn't lose anyone so that's that's go that's going well this is going so much um, I, I shouldn't say this because you know i'll doom myself through curse the commentator uh new record and average damage per attack nice Kills per turn, 0.73. <laughs> All right. Well, we are still doing well. Still getting this 100% successful shots when we actually uh, when we actually aim our guns rather than just firing wildly at things we think we've seen, seen moving. So that's pretty good. I think that basically means I'm waiting to only shoot when I think there's a decent chance of hitting and throwing grenades around the rest of the time. It's only a matter of time before we regain control of the planet. Oh, and we can uh, we can bond Peter and Ed. So they 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 are now they are now friends apparently. And Peter's actually earned himself another another promotion already. Wow. So we can get we can give him either blast padding, in which case he um, gets an extra point of armor and takes less damage from explosives, or we can give him shredder, shredder, in which case his his his, um, his cannon will shred armor. 
Now, I was going to say that I don't tend to think, I don't feel like I'm going to use the, um, the cannon all that much. But, um, he does seem to be being quite effective with it at the moment. So, the sh I can see Shredder being potentially useful, especially later on when we start to come up against enemies with a little bit of armour. Uh, alternatively, having what's essentially one extra health point is also kind of useful, and taking less damage from explosives sounds like a good thing as well. So those both, they both sound good. I'm leaning slightly towards Shredder, I think. But I would definitely take. I would definitely appreciate your um, your your suggestions and how how you feel about it. How you feel about his promotion. While we're waiting, let's promote. See what Bagel's becoming. Bagel is becoming a specialist, so something suitably nerdy. Uh, he is also going to get a uh, the aid protocol with a gremlin. Okay, good. Well, we've already got one specialist, but sure. Now we've got two. And we also get to promote Mango to either get Medical Protocol or Combat Protocol. So we can decide whether the, whether Mango's Gremlin can be sent out to hurt enemies or set, set, sent out to heal friendlies. Now we have a med kit. So I think, I think we're going to go for Combat Protocol. Because I can see when we get an enemy down to sort of one or two health, it would be fantastically useful to be able to send the Gremlin out just to finish them off without... Having to waste without, I'm gonna say waste without having to use a shot from somebody who's potentially in a in a in a in a good position to go off and attack something else. So I think here, I think combat protocol rather than aid protocol is the one to go for. What do you guys think? Um, I see persistence has said cheddar. I honestly don't know whether that's because she just likes talking about cheese or because she thinks I should go for shredder. But I think I, um, I'll take that as a vote for shredder anyway. Yeah, I think I'm generally going to try and have my guys stay back where I can um, because I don't I don't really want them to get in up, up up close and personal. Basically, I don't want them to get shot at if I can possibly avoid it. And if they're not getting shot at, then they won't be getting hurt. Um, and as a grenadier, I feel like Peter should be in positions where he's doing sort of trick shots around corners and stuff rather than getting in rather than being shot at. So I think so I think yeah, probably giving him. Um, Probably giving him a shredder, I think, is probably better. So you think you're suggesting I should go for the medical persistent for the uh, for the other one? So you think you think? Well, my thinking was that if a soldier gets injured, they can run back to um, uh, run back run back to Mango to be uh, to, for the, for uh, to, to, for her to use the med kit on them, whereas. You don't really, whereas there isn't really a direct, well, I suppose there is a direct alternative to using the aid protocol, the, the, uh, the combat protocol. It's called shooting them in the face. Um, but sometimes if they're, in, if they're in awkward cover or something like that, then you can't always shoot them in the face quite as much as you'd want to. So I think having her with a, um, a med kit for for healing comrades and a, and a combat protocol for attacking enemies is quite a good sort of, it's quite a good synergy. Okay, so I think we'll go for, we'll go for... Hello, Tristan. Welcome. Uh, we're deb debating at the moment how to how to upgrade our people, whether to give this guy uh, extra armor or a weapon that does shredding shredding damage against armor against enemy armor. Although not we've seen any enemy armor yet. Hmm. Uh, and we're debating whether uh, and, we're, and also debating whether to give um, Mango the medical uh, the gremlin to do, go off and do and do healing or the gremlin to go off and do hurting. Um, I'm I say I'm leaning towards combat protocol for this one, um, and shredding armor shredding for the other guy. Nobody's quite talked to me after that one yet, so I, th I, I, I may end up just going for that. <laughs> so over here we'll go for the uh, shredder. Yes, we'll learn shredder. Jump. Yeah, pretty much. I'm going. For, I'm going for the aggressive ones rather than the defensive ones. That's a good point. Although with 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 Mango, I was thinking I would give her a med kit to carry around, so she still can do the medical stuff, as well as the combat stuff. And that, uh, whereas before, I suppose yeah. Uh, the the other thing is yes, you can do remote medical stuff and you can do combat with you know the gun. But yeah, I think I'm just going to go aggressive for now. <laughs> right, and nobody got hurt, so that's good. Let's continue. And we loot an Illyrium core, which um, we will probably use at some point in the future. But for now, we'll just stick on a shelf and um, and, and and keep for later. Ooh. More box text. It's the council. Well, a council.
Traitors. With one exception. Mostly traitors. It is good to see you again. In the day since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. That sounds like a good plan. Seeing our classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Shows us a map and says the location is unknown. <laughs> operations throughout the world establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold find this black site and shut it down save our world the clock is ticking good luck commander exactly persistent <laughs> entertainingly um Okay. Um, entertainingly, I've got two messages in a row, one from Twitch and one from YouTube, saying, um, I've heard the gun is good at combat, followed by, it's a surprise tool that helps us later. <laughs> so, we need to contact the, uh, contact, uh, so we know roughly where it is, but not exactly. So we need to contact the Resistance and see if they know where it is. Uh, so, tell me more. Um, contact the Resistance in the Black Site region. Make contact with... <laughs> I like how he says the main objective is contact the Resistance in the Black Site region, then it just tells me the same thing with more words. Uh, you're fine. Okay, so those are things to do. We've got an engineer as well. That's nice. I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. Another impressive And Ed and Peter are now friends. Expectations were high and yet you have exceeded them. Commander, having these two soldiers continue to work together has paid off. They know each other well enough at this point that we can have them train as a pair for additional tactical capabilities. Yeah, they make a lovely couple. So we'll, we'll, we'll bond those. There we go. Uh, oh, let's have a custom post for it. <laughs> the media is a powerful tool. Just ask Advent's propaganda machine. I say it's time we turn it against them. By spreading the word of our soldiers' exploits in combat, we can bolster morale throughout the resistance. <laughs> we haven't met any uh, mutons yet. <laughs> or whatever that orange is. <laughs> Ed has the best faces. What can I say? <laughs> Keeping that one. <laughs> I don't, unfortunately, I don't get to choose specific um, bond pairs. It's, it's, it's. It, it, I don't think it's random, but may, yeah, maybe if I send the two of you out on um, on, on missions together, then we'll be able to um, be able to get, create a bond between you. We should keep looking for more recruits, though. We'll need them to staff the facilities once they're built. Right, so we have an engineer now, so we can use them to start clearing the debris up here. Commander, so far I haven't seen anything critical among the alien blah, blah, blah. left over in this area. If we clean this stuff out, we can yeah, probably so use this space. To space for a new facility. Okay, so let's let's. I've got an engineer. We just there we go. Engineer, go. Excavate. Right. So now it's going to take it's going to take a while, five days apparently. But then we can use that for something else. It's it's an available space for more um more yeah for, for just generally for building out building out more facilities. There we go. All right. So we'll leave that we'll leave that alone now. So that's all happening. What's in the commander's quarters? Why is it flashing at me? Um. Oh, it's just telling me about objectives we've got we've got up and running. So at the moment, we just need to contact the resistance. That's fine. Um, didn't we just bond those two? I'm sure I said yes to it. Um, uh, oh yeah, yeah, they are bonded. There we go. So so. Ooh, we've got weapon upgrade. What's that? Oh, I see. Yeah, we we we. Oh, I forgot to give the laser sight to someone. I should do that before we go out. Head back out again. Under the knife, and you've got a clean bill of health. Right. So, ooh, and uh, looking at that, we can see that um, Cheese Wheel is now nearly nearly recovered. Only two more days, um, but Peter is tired and is going to take nine days to uh, to recover from uh, recover from having done a couple of missions in fairly in to be fair quite quick succession. So, well, that's that's all right. 
Okay, back to the bridge. Let's ooh, stuff. Commander, we have a lead on the alien black site, but we'll have to rely on the local resistance to actually get us into the facility. We should try to make contact with their forces in the dun, region dun, 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 as soon as possible. It's the only way we're going to find out what's behind this so-called Avatar project. All right. So yeah, we need to we need to fly down to India and um, and, and 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 talk to them. It's gonna take seven days. I kind of want to finish the um the the rookies one over here. So let's let's go over here. Let's get those rookies so we can have Tack and Mark come in and join us. Um, and see how that goes. And then we'll then we'll head over to the black side. <laughs> no, I don't think Bradford's quite as bad as the city. Oh, and there we go. Uh, cheese wheels recovered now. Bink. There we go. So now we've... Uh, yeah, we've got... Okay, so we've got four people in, two of whom are actual proper people, and the other two are just random names. Excellent. There's Tack, and there's Mark. Excellent. Right, so we'll, we'll bring them on a future mission. Uh... We can get a scientist if we go over there, so that's that's good. But eight eight days is quite a long time. I think in the meantime, I'm gonna fly. Over, I'm, I'm gonna get, carry on with the sort of the the plot related stuff. So let's go over here and, and, and scan the area, see if we can find the resistance. So let's 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 do this one. Um, yeah. Oh, we need to make contact. Oh, I see. So we need to right. We need to make contact with the with the resistance. How do how do we do that? Re oh, research resistance communications. Right. Okay. That was yeah. So we need to research resistance communications in order to then find a way of communicating with them. Got it. Now I understand. <laughs> Let's go back to the go back to the bridge. So, do I want a scientist or do I want supplies? Um, I think at this point it's probably worth having the scientist because the longer you have the scientist for, the more research you can get them to do. Obviously. Uh, so I think let's go in and get that one first. And then we'll think about going over and getting the um, uh, getting the supplies afterwards because we at the moment we don't have a huge amount to spend the supplies on. We have now now have have a room another room where we can build something. Um, I don't think there are any other facilities where I really want to build. I mean, could build a could build a power relay. Um, I can't afford to build a training center. Can't afford to build an additional lab. Can't afford to build an additional workshop. Okay, well, well, we'll 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 leave that alone. I don't think there's any point in spending money on that, on those things at the moment. Let's go back to scanning. Oop. Enemy is food. Oh dear. Is that the advent burgers? Exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Hold out. I actually think they might show up. Commander, that was Konstantin Volokov. Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. It's one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. <laughs> Still, <laughs> we've made some unlikely progress. Enemy of my enemy, right? These Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys. Not where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. I have a disco room. Should I have a look? Manpower to spare. We're all in this together, right? Not sure how long our contacts are going to wait for us, Commander. So I'd recommend we proceed as soon as possible. 
All available soldiers are standing by to deploy. Right, so I'll get a scientist and some intel from this. So this seems like a pretty good, um, pretty pretty good uh, mission mission to do. Uh, so yeah, let's. And I don't seem to have a great deal of choice about it. So I guess we'll go over and investigate the uh, investigate the Reapers. Uh, oh, background of the cutscene. Okay, uh, I mean that, that makes sense. In in the original XCOM, it was the aliens had the alien disco areas. So I guess um, we we've captured enough of their ships now that we've built our own alien disco. So, who do we want to take on this mission? That's the question. Each faction has agreed to allow a two-person squad to escort them to the rendezvous point. Hopefully that should be enough to keep them from killing each other. We've got a temporary ceasefire in place for the duration of the meet, but still, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be ready for anything. Right, so it's only allowing me to take two people along. This seems to be a reasonably good selection actually let's 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 have a look um let's, let's see who who have we got so our grenadier is tired he doesn't want to go ed i think as a ranger is probably a good one to take with us a sharpshooter is probably useful but uh The question is: Should I be taking along some of the uh, some some of the um, some of the new some of the rookies in an attempt to level them up to make them vaguely useful? I think I'd rather not. Maybe what I'll try and do is take along when I, when I when I've got a full a full squad, I'll take along three experienced soldiers and one and one rookie to try and get them sort of leveled up a bit. Um, oh, so there's two squads of two. Okay, uh, I'm not quite sure how to choose that in, in that case. One corporal and one rookie on each squad. Now I was thinking of maybe, uh, I was thinking of a corporal and a squaddy on. Uh, well, actually, I'm not sure what I was thinking. Yeah, I think I think I think a corporal and a squaddy is probably a good a good selection here. Um, and then we may end up with a sharpshoot. We may end up with a sharpshooter and then one of the one of the other rookies on the other squad. If I do get an, if I do get choices for another one, so let's take. Yeah, let's take. Let's take these two, as, as, as the game suggested. Uh, we will, however, replace that with a frag grenade, because I think a frag grenade is going to be far more useful than, than, a, um, than a smoke grenade in, in, in this particular case. Um, I was saying I was going to give her the med kit, but I think, I think I'm not going to this time. I'm going to be, just be full-on full aggressive. Um, the grenade, basically the grenades are guaranteed hits, whereas the, the guns aren't, so I think it's probably worth, worth having the grenades along for, for fun. Oh, and there's a next squad button down here, you're quite right. So the other squad, who we got? We've got it's suggesting cheese wheel and bagel. Let's not let's not take bagel. Uh, let's bring along let's bring along a rookie here. We could just continue down the list and bring bring along the pest, um, whoever Trengin is. Uh, yeah, let's. Yeah, let's bring along another rookie and get uh, this. This can be Team Orange. Uh, we'll get them. Hopefully, get them. Bo hopefully, get uh, Mike leveled up to have some sort of useful, um, uh, useful. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, um, uh, useful specialization. So we do have a slight difference in the ranks on the two different squads, but I think if we can send, if we can use Mike to spot for Cheese Wheel. Um, they should be quite devastating, and then the other two we've got Ed to run forward and um, and and just get up up close and and, and impersonal with with the uh, with the big poking stick. <laughs> yes, Team Orange. The Reapers and skirmishers have been at each other's throats for years, so we're keeping the exact meeting point strictly need to know. You'll split into two squads, rendezvous with each faction, and bring their envoy directly to the location of the meet. Officially, this city no longer exists, so we don't expect a lot in the way of Advent resistance. Still, keep your eyes peeled. It's been about 20 years since we last stepped foot in this place. <laughs> nice. Yes, a, a, it's a very sharp stick of poke as well. So it should be, should be ideal. Ooh, this doesn't. This looks worrying. <laughs> 
what? If it's abandoned, where's this fire come from? And yeah, there's definitely something going on here. Somebody's cooking a head, and I don't know who. Some sort of alien head. So, is that a Reaper calling card? Yes, it is. He's indeed a Reaper calling card. <laughs> Oh yes, I recognise her from the intro sequence. Oh, I forgot to give everyone anyone the laser sight again. We shall see if the same holds true for these skirmishes of yours. Creepy, creepy sounds. Your presence already disturbs them. We must move quickly. My people will take care of this camp. Right. So, uploading the coordinates to the rendezvous point now. We've plotted the most direct route there. We don't know much about the skirmisher contact you'll be meeting other than his name, Mox. Mox. Praetor Mox. His death squads wiped out entire camps of my people in the first years of the war. You would dare do this! Pretty sure hands are bloody on both sides of this fight. That's the whole point of this intervention. Reapers are born in the shadows. In the cold, harsh world that was waiting for us out there. We rely on stealth and long range. <laughs> and our marksmen are unmatched by even the best XCOM has to offer. Alright, so she's a sniper. And a very sneaky sniper. Excellent. Uh... Yeah, get, get yeah, get over it. Just because you had, just because you guys fought in the in the previous war doesn't mean you have to carry on fighting in this one. So, um, well, I guess we we are we are. Oh no, we're not we're not in. It's only only um only Outrider who is in uh, or Elena is who is in um in, in uh, sneaky sneaky cover. Uh, so we'll move her. We'll use her for scouting then. Run up to this um van here. Okay, no nothing to see. So we'll move the other two up as well. And again with uh, Ed. Where can we put Ed? Where's a good place for Ed to be? I think here's a good place for Ed. Rolling. As you can see, I'm trying to keep him in full cover because that just seems like a good idea. Damaged and dormant all these years. These devices still emit trace elements of unstable radiation. I cannot fathom what they were like in their original function. We were there, Doctor. You're better off having missed it. Yeah, are these the pods that the aliens use during um, abduction missions, where so they they drop these things in, and they, as you can see, it's cap it presumably captured these people around it. I, I'm going to, I uh, yeah, I don't know, but I'm guessing that's probably what it means. Oh yeah, I need to um, end the end the end the turn. And we have a different enemy in this one. We have the lost instead of the um, the aliens we've the found. Okay, Dragon Nova, you can move to. That's not that doesn't count as cover. This does count as cover. Let's scamp you over here. I feel like I feel like this green haze over the screen is very very annoying. So let's switch to somebody else before I look around. I feel like it'd be worth going up into this building over here and get keeping the high ground. Um, I have a feeling I know what the lost are, um, but I won't spoil anything for anyone who isn't isn't familiar with the game. Uh, there's no way to cross this street, so I don't want to put Ed up into that building. Let's just run him over to here as well. We'll all take cover around this car and hope it doesn't explode. Uh, and also Mango. You can take you can take cover behind that cone. If they're always vigilant, does that mean I don't technically need to use Overwatch? Probably not. Oh, movement! Zombies! Taking care of these creatures' true strength lies in their numbers. As you can see, they fall easily. If we are careful with our shots, we will prevail. No more time for regrets. We are not alone. Those things. They still look like people. What was human died years ago. <laughs> Only the taint of the aliens survives now. Where there is one 
Right, they're zombies basically. Straight up, they're they're zombies. Um, so we can use the uh, yeah. If, if you keep shoot, if you can keep shooting as long as you keep finding targets to kill, basically with the uh, with the lost, it turns out. And given it takes two, given they seem to have typically about two hit points, it shouldn't be difficult to chain lots of kills together as long as the uh, as long as they're in positions where you can shoot them. Uh, there's quite a lot of them though, so it's a good thing we can just keep shooting and shooting and shooting. My biggest worry is that our magazines are getting too empty and we're going to run, run out of start to run out of ammunition. Yet. These creatures' DNA has mutated well beyond what we would classify as human. Perhaps the result of long-term exposure to the alien radiation from those pods. Though why anyone would subject themselves to that, I cannot imagine. When the governments fell, millions starved. Many fled to cities such as this to scavenge for food. They did not heed the warnings. Okay, so Ed has a hit percentage chance of about two thirds for each, every single one he can see. Um, but this, this, who's this? Mango has 70, about 70% 70, 70 chance, and Dragonova has 80% chance because she's a sniper. Uh, so, to be honest, is it worth moving him closer? He might get a. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Actually, what's the what's what makes this a chance? He's, they're a little bit out of range because he's brought a shotgun. Um, a shotgun feels like the right weapon to be attacking, killing zombies with, but he's slightly too far away, so maybe I should move him forwards, um, and then he'll have a better chance of hitting. Does that seem like a good idea? But he's also got a better chance of having his face eaten. So I think, well, I think, but I think it's worth the risk. So if I move forwards to here. Now he's got, yeah, now he's got eighty percent chances for all, all, all the hits, for, for for basically all of them. So let's start, um, let's start killing zombies. Basically, you just keep firing until you run out of uh, run out of ammunition or run out of or, or or don't manage to hit one. So this is going to be um, messy. So he's got another free ammo, free shot, and then he gets this is his last shot because he's run out of ammunition. So three shots, three kills, excellent. So now we now we'll now we'll do a reload with his now we'll do a reload with his last remaining um, action, and then we switch over to the other people. So I think we still want to keep advancing because we well we've cleared out all the ones that were nearby. The others are a bit further away now. So uh, and Mango can't actually see anyone to shoot at. So let's move Mango to here. I don't know why I'm bothering with cover, given that we're fighting zombies who don't have guns. But you know, it's just sort of a habit. Uh, let's 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 take a pot shot at that one because I would like everybody to get some kills because getting kills is useful for leveling up. Ooh, good shot. I approve. Um, and you've got another, you've still got another action for exactly the same reason that Ed did. Um, now the question is here: Do I reload? Do I go for the reload or for the uh, for the Overwatch? I think possibly the. I think I don't know what I don't know what would be better here, or to, or could I, do I want to advance a little bit further forwards? I think probably going for the reload, because then next turn if we get a lot, I don't think the zombies can get from close enough to. Um, I don't think the zombies can get from outside your sight range to attacking you in one turn, or at least I hope they can't, unless you do something stupid like hide around a go get too close to a corner. So if you can't see any zombies, it's probably worth reloading so you can kill more of them in the next turn. Let's move um, forwards a little bit. Uh, Dragon over forwards a little bit. That's and now, of course, you can't. They can't see any more zombies. She can't shoot. Let's go for the. Can we get up here? No. Oh, there's there's warnings of seeing seeing zizzers over here. Let's move. That was a probably an unwise move. Oh, I didn't mean to click there. Ah, oh. I was trying to right click to get rid of the green haze nonsense, but um, yeah. Right. There's nobody. There's no enemies around. There's no lost around this turn. So let's get everyone up onto the top floor of here. Uh, we reloaded last turn, so uh, Mango has a full full, ma full magazine over here. So we get her up there, and then also um, we'll get Ed up there as well. I know he's he's a shotgunner. He's, long range isn't really his thing, but I think if we get them up here anyway, it's. If we get them up here, then it's going to be, make it a lot harder for the uh, zombies to get to them, and we can and we have a bit more of a defense, an opportunity to be, to be to play defensively. And we'll do the same with um, Elena as well. So we'll get you up here too, and then we can carry on from there. And we're getting a cinematic for this for this run as well. Excellent. 
Right. So that's the turn. What are the lost getting up to this time? Still nothing. Interesting. An entire city of our own people left to turn into these things. Yes. All we can offer them now is a merciful death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can we can certainly do that. Right. Ed, I want you to come to here. Yeah, let's move to here, because even if there are some zombies, we can rip through quite a lot of them with the other guys, I think. So we'll move Ed all the way through to here. Like that. And, as expected, he didn't find anything. I, d I don't think you get the zombies upstairs in the buildings in quite the same way. So we'll, um... Uh, can I get out of this side of the building? Probably not. That looks like far too far to fall. So we'll, um... We need to get them out onto the balcony over here. So we'll move you to... Let's move you over to here as well. On the move. And then Dragonova. What's that? Claymore. Ooh. Oh right, yes, okay. So you, you can throw you can you can throw the claymore and you can trigger it by shooting it, apparently, I think. That sounds sounds loosely familiar. And then we'll stick the uh, the Reaper in the corner here where she won't be spotted. I should have moved her first actually, because the concealment bonuses and stuff. Um, to have a bit of a look outside. And there we go. Found some more lost. But because Dragonova is concealed, we don't... They, they, they don't... Yeah, we don't know about them. They, they, they don't know about us, sorry. They have no cause, no fear. They simply exist. If we do not defeat the aliens soon, we will become little more than they are. So they were down here somewhere. We don't seem to be able to see them with Dragonova now, which is a bit of a shame. But I think just going out onto the balcony... And playing shooting gallery is going to be the way to do the, the way to go with this. So we'll stick uh, mango out there. Yep, there they are. I should have put dragon over into Overwatch, I guess, but never mind. They're just going. They're, they're zombies. They're just going to run towards us. I don't care. Uh, so what you've got? You've got 96. Okay, you've got almost 100% chance of hitting them. So we'll we'll just take out two of them straight up. Should be, should be easy. One. Good riddance. Two. Lovely. Enemy down. And let's go for an overwatch in case any more show up in the next turn. Uh, we'll move. Um, who's this? Ed out over to here. Because <clears throat> as we as, as as stated before, shotgun is the traditional weapon to use against zombies. Oh, and we found some more. So Ed gets to have some fun as well. Lovely. Question is, how many of them is he going to be able to kill before he? Oh, we've got a uh, reaction fire there, but it missed. Well, I suppose that's the minus twenty percent you get with with reaction fire. Okay, Ed, you have an eighty-four percent chance of hitting some of the. Yeah, let's let, let, let's just start cutting our way through them. If you can get four kills, I'll be very impressed. Yes, one. And the next one, please. An ability point. I wonder what that means. Oh, Ed, you missed. It was a zombie. How did you miss the zombie? Okay, Elena, you can't shoot them, I think. Um, because, well, you can't, you can't see them, apparently. So you're not in a great position. We'll have to move you out here, and then next turn you should be able to do lots and lots of shooting. Okay, so we've got three zombies down here, and we've got probably one or two over here. I think that's not too much of a worry. We'll be able to deal with them all in the next turn without too much difficulty. And if we stick um, Elena on Overwatch, then she'll probably take out another one like this. Well, there's th okay, three more on that side. Why did none of them get shot? <laughs> I'm glad you get infinite ammunition in this game. <laughs> this would be a bit... Oh, and another two over there. Wow. That's, is that nine of them now, I think? Jeez. Okay, we are gonna. It's definitely what you call a target-rich environment. Oh, ten. Um, hi. <laughs> Why hasn't Elena started shooting? And by started, I mean just taken one of them out because she won't have the ammunition to do all of them. But. Right. I don't think it's worth using a grenade on them, partly because I'm pretty sure that causes um, uh, more to, more of them to appear, but also because we've got we've got all these hundred percent hit chances across here. So okay, let 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 let's just get killing. 
I like it. I like the idea of 100% hit chance. So that's that's rather nice. It's very. It's not very XCOM, but I approve. Now, hopefully, I'm going to be able to use the action to re first action. So because I've been doing headshots, I'm getting free actions from all of those. So hopefully, I can use a re the action to reload, and then Ed can just carry on slaughtering through the zombies like this. And the last one is a 90% chance. The last one he can see is a 90% chance. That's a pretty good, pretty good, pretty good chance, I think. There we go. Nice. Now we'll move over to uh, Mango, who can see, hopefully, see all the ones on the other side. Um, two shots left. Yeah, go on Overwatch. You might as well. Right, Mango. Uh, you've got 100%, 100%. You've got 300% kill chances. Okay, so we'll we'll uh, go for a headshot on the first one. Then we'll reload, and then we'll kill the other two. <laughs> these, these are not that difficult to deal with, I have to say. Um, we, we, we are ripping through a lot of them. Um, how many did, did Ed kill? I think, it, I want to say it was um, four? And we'll take that three with, um, three with Mango. Uh, yeah, four, because he had two, yeah, two rounds before, two rounds used up now, so four, five, six, that's seven, seven of the zombies taken out. Mango, um, yeah, stay with the Overwatch. Um, no, you can, you could, I, I could, I could, um, you, you can, you can switch between people as much as you want, that's absolutely fine. Um, so you can, you can do, I could do, I could have done a couple of shots with one, a couple of shots with another, so if you're suggesting maybe I should have spread the kills around a little bit more, you might be right. It might have been sensible. Boom. Oh, and revealed as well. Oh, well, never mind. I don't think I care about that too much. Uh, in one turn, I'm going back into the shadow. I don't know. Right, okay. So that's that's all of them now. Let's let's now go into Overwatch. Wait for some... See if any more zombies appear. There's one. And who's going to shoot it? I think that was Ed. It's kind of hard to tell because there's a, grat in the, a grating in the way. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dead. I spotted eleven earlier, so I think there's one more somewhere. Oh no, that's the lot. But only for now. Oh. Oh yes, yes, you're quite yes. I, I could, I certainly could choose between um, choose between uh, choose between Overwatch and um, and and reload. Um, the reloads, I, I've, I've been reloading basically when it's essential to. But yeah, I suppose you only get what you try again. I think you you only ever get one Overwatch shot, so um, it's there's no this is, so yes, it's worth taking out as many of them you, as you can in normal turn before you start before you start waiting for Overwatch. Um, however, as long as you've got any ammunition at all in your gun, then I think the Overwatch is very worth doing, just because you tend to take out then you get to take out the ones that are um, the moving around during your turn. Uh, and you can then, with with the lost, you can reload. You can basically reload. You could, in theory, um, reload, fire shots into every single lost, and then reload again. Um, or you could fire, keep firing until your magazine is empty, um, and then reload, and then potentially keep firing, or go onto a, and and then go onto Overwatch. So there's there's quite a lot of potential for absolute massive levels of slaughter. Right. We'll be there. So that's part one of the mission, apparently. And now we have a couple of people to drop off. We're presumably going to find Mox in much the same way we found the uh, <coughs> the Reapers in the uh, first part. Um, or we're just going to float with the Sky Ranger up in the air like this for a while. Creating dust clouds. Yeah, meeting in a less zombie -y area seems like a nice idea. This place is on fire as well. I'm 
saying that's our man. Well, our contact anyway. Crop saw it. Had fed. Hobbit. Lost Hola. For dead. They were sent here to hunt. To purge the drop. Well, he seems hinged. Our meeting point is still secure. She is free of the imposter gods. I would give anything that all my kind could say the same. Even sit down with your reapers. Now, we must go. All right, so we have another three squ three man squad or three person squad ready to sweep through this area and see how things go. So we've got again, we've got the same sort of thing. Get to the rendezvous point. Proceed through this district as quickly as possible, but be careful. Something tells me this city still has a few more surprises to throw our way. Surprises are the least of our worries today. It is these reapers of yours that are of true concern. Yes, we get it. You two don't like each other. We're created by the false. So, skirmishers, they can move and shoot, or they can shoot and move, or they can shoot and shoot. That sounds very, very useful for being against all of these uh, zombie types. Um, right, so... Um, we have a similar... Well, we, it's a completely different sort of area, but it's still got the same sort of green goop in it, and I imagine we're going to have similar similar lost-related problems in this in in this in this level, as, in this part of the mission as well. So, I guess we'll just move forward and go on to Overwatch, because that seemed like a good way to start. Um, I don't think we care too much about... Um, too much about... Uh, what's, the word I'm, what's the word I'm looking for? We don't care too much about uh, cover, because we're up against the zombies still, and they're kind of... They don't shoot at us, so it's not too much, not too much of a problem. Uh, we'll just bring everyone up and have a pro yeah, have a firing line. Uh, so we want to do Overwatch. But what's the gra grapple? Uh, grapple might be very handy for getting him up into some sort of some some sort of high point, like on top of this container or up here or something like that, where he can potentially shoot down on on the what on the lost. Getting Cheese Wheel up high would be nice as well, um, because she's a sniper basically. And Mike can do shoot anything that moves, basically. Yes. Well done. Oh, alien activity. Okay. I might take back everything I just said. Um, if the, if there's going to be aliens around, then we probably should be putting people in cover. So let's get. Oh, I want to get Cheese Wheel in a high place, ide ideally up here, so she can use squad sight. But I think for now, that's probably going to be the best idea. Um, where should we put Mike? Let's put him behind this this cone for now. We don't seem to have we haven't started the mission in concealment, which is a little bit of a shame if we're uh, supposed to be going up against aliens because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to. Uh, why is that only giving low c half cover? I don't know. Let's not worry about it too much. Oh, maybe it's, cause it's doors and you can. Oh, I don't know. Let's put let's put Mox in here <clears throat> for now, just tucked away, so everybody's in cover, and then we can go. But then we can go for the um, Overwatch again. Pistol Overwatch for Cheese Wheel because you can't you can't move and snipe. Oh, I see movement. That looks like alien. Yeah, that's all. Oh, Advent. That is indeed nicht good. That looks like a flamethrower to me. This worries me. Could somebody please hit an, en an enemy at some point? That'd be much appreciated. Don't remember seeing these things before. You were not meant to. Purifiers were created with a singular purpose: to contain the drop tent. 
the boss. We must eliminate this patrol quickly before others arrive. Fine by me. Take them down. Right, okay, so we've got I've only got thirty-two percent chance of hitting that one, which is not great. <clears throat> um uh, they're not out of grenade range though, so that's a possibility. Um Yeah, the and I could probably get this one with a grenade with Mike. Yeah, let's do let's start off that way. Let's start off with a grenade. A grenade is always a good way to start. And that'll get rid of the uh, the cover in front of this guy. <clears throat> And maybe it'll blow up the van as well. And at the very least, it seems to have done some. It's done some damage anyway. So, Mox, you are now flanking that guy. You have a 60, only a sixty-four percent chance of hitting, which is justice. Justice is okay. This seems like a special attack. So, given he's got a special attack, I feel it would be silly not to use it. It's a ninety-three percent chance of hitting. It does damage of four, so it's a guaranteed kill. Can I have the damage part of it, please? Thank you. Their service is over. Nice. Right, so it took it took the pair of them. Actually, if I'd, may, I might have been able to do that with Mox straight away. I don't know, but um, never mind. So the question is, do I want to throw a grenade from here? Do I want to go on Overwatch, or do I want to shoot? So shooting has a 32% chance of hitting. Shooting with a pistol has a 37% chance of hitting. Because basically because they're in cover, a grenade has a hundred percent chance of hitting, but will probably only do three. Absolute most, it will do might do five damage. Uh, oh, sorry, four damage. So it's guaranteed four damage, but also guaranteed not kill. Uh, oh, Mox has still got some time units left, um, so he could Overwatch or oh he's and he's got a twenty four percent chance of hitting. Okay, right. Let's let's open with the grenade just in case that does some that takes out the um, the cover. I don't think it will, because that looks like metal and st indestructible stuff. But, you know, I think it's worth trying. So that's that one. And then I could grapple, or I could throw... Oh, I could throw a frag grenade with Mox as well. Uh, but not far enough. Hang on, where's the... Hang on a minute. Where's the Where's the advent... Where's, the go where's, the where's he gone? So we threw in a grenade, it blew up the walls, and now he's disappeared. I didn't kill it, did I? I'm very confused. I it was, yeah, because the grenade does three to four damage. The guy had six points of health, so it shouldn't have been fatal. Let's go on Overwatch because I don't think there's anything else he can do from here, and see what happens. Yeah, so there he is. He's there still, and now he's dead. Excellent. Oop, and the van exploded. Nice. We must push forward and complete our mission. Right. So we have got uh, we've eliminated that squad. Um, we haven't had any lost yet. Uh, I don't know whether that means we're not going to get any. Um, but yeah, whatever. So let's try let's try a mox grapple because I want I want to play with this because it seems like an interesting thing. So we can put him. Up to up here, or even all the way up here, maybe. I don't know. It's. You have to. The, 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 I feel like the orange air, the orange things I can see should be where he's capable of getting to, but I don't seem to be able to get right up onto the top. So I guess we'll go to here. Spidey. Spidey mode. Right. Okay. No enemies over there. Excellent. Um. I'm going to stick Mike behind these portaloos because that seems like a good place to put him. And since there's no enemies around, can we get Cheese Wheel up into some proper high ground? How high can she get? Yeah, this seems like a good place to move to. There's not much in the way of... If any, any aliens appear over there, she's going to be rather exposed. <clears throat> but I'm hoping she's going to be far enough back that that won't be a problem. All right, and um, we'll stick stick these two and stick Mike into Overwatch, and uh, Mox into Overwatch as well. So hopefully that'll keep them safe uh, while the building just disintegrates around Cheese Wheel. Great. <laughs> um, okay, so I feel like we've got we've got Mox in a good elevated position up there. That seems like a sensible place to keep him. Right, so let's just leave him there and advance forward a bit with Mike. 
Uh, while there's nothing around, let's get Cheese Wheel right up on the top on the top of here because I, I I I'm convinced there's going to be more enemies in this mission. I don't I, I don't believe we've got we've dealt with them all yet. So we'll put Cheese up here. That was probably the wrong place actually. Because if anything, if anything gets close down here, she won't be able to get them. Let's put her back to here. <laughs> yeah, the orange flames, I'm sure, will protect her against the uh, the other orange flames, like these ones, and, and, and more important point, these ones. Yeah, so it'll be, it'll all be fine, I'm sure. Uh, right, okay, Mike, you can do some more overwatching. Mox, yeah, let's put you upstairs as well. Have a bit of a look around from up here. And do another overwatch. There are fewer, fewer enemies around than I was expecting. I was expecting it to have got, you know, busy by now. But so far, it seems very, very quiet, and that bothers me. Where's Mox? He's up here. Alright, let's move Mox on to... Oh, can I get him up there, do you think? That'd be quite cool. Uh... No, because the grappling hook hasn't 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 finished its cooldown yet. <clears throat> okay, let's put him up on here instead then. I'll have a Overwatch from you. That has exploded, whatever that was, and an Overwatch from you as well. Didn't you just? I thought I told you to Overwatch. Oh, it's another turn. Oops. I can't tell when turns end and, and begin. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm very confused. Okay, let's let's continue the exploration. Where are we trying to? We're trying to get to there. Okay. Mike, can you get into cover there? That's probably a good place. Something's happened. Okay, we have more purifiers, and these ones have uh, flamethrowers. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> nothing like a bit of um, uh, what's the what's the term when you when you blow up one enemy and they take takes all the rest of the ones around them out. That was. Quite, quite spectacular. Uh oh, more zombies. Oh come on, cheese, cheese steak. No cheese, whatever your name is. Right. Okay. Mike is not in a great position. They are not as docile as the rest of their kind. An apt description. It would seem the mutation has somehow accelerated these dashers' metabolism, allowing enhanced speed and agility with a corresponding increase in aggression. Oh, good. Fast zombies. Just what we need. So, um, I guess we'll just plug through some of them as fast as, as fast as we can to get to... Uh, I've got 95% chances of hitting. I think we we can get two, two straight away and then pr hopefully another three with the other round in the uh, sniper rifle. So, uh, there we go. One. Actually, let's move Mike to a better position if we can. Uh, like... Can you, see, you, can't see, you can't see any lost. Okay, that's good. Where's Mox gone? Oh, there he is. He t magically teleported down there for the purposes of the cutscene. Great. <clears throat> um, I kind of want to get Mike up here, but there aren't... Let's move to here first and see if there's any lost around that corner. There aren't. So that means it's safe to come up here. I'd quite like to get some kills with him as well, just to sort of, you know, so everyone gets the... We can spread it around a bit. Mox, I think we're going to... Yeah, we're going to retreat everyone back into this area... And try and cover and, and try and keep everything covered. Can I get him over here? No, I can't. All right, we'll put. No, I don't want to put mock. I don't want. I don't really want to put mocks up over here. Um, because I've got Mike. I put Mike that side, and that's unhelpful. Um, 
Although, this seems to be where all the zombies are coming from, so maybe it's, maybe it's worthwhile. Let's do that then. Right, so that's... Let's get as many kills as we can with Cheese Wheel, because I want to level her up, because snipers are incredibly powerful when they get... Oh, I see. Okay, so now we've got... Wow. With Squad Sight, we have an enormous number of them we can shoot at, and they're all more than... Basically, all more than 90%. So we'll just, just keep plugging away at them, I think. Take out as many as we realistically can. And then reload. Uh, oh, because it, oh, damn it! It takes two. It takes two uh, action points to, to fire a sniper rifle, so she can't get any more. But we, we can fire a pistol, and yeah, take out that one definitely. Like that. And what's the other one? It's an eighty percent chance, and that's one with that's one with four health. So we we actually definitely can't kill that one. So let's not do anything more with her for now. Let's go back over to Mox. And right, so he's, he's only got one ramp, but he can he can shoot and reload and then carry, and then shoot another three times. So he 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 can in theory take out all of these if he can if he can pump out enough damage with each each shot. And now we can reload like that. I can uh, neither confirm nor deny your accusations of war crimes. Eighty-one percent chances. These these chances are getting lower. As, as stated, so he's now run out of time. Now run out of turns. So these, those four, are all still fully capable of moving. So we'll go over into, we'll get do a. We can't kill that one. Let's. Which is the most? Question is, which is the most dangerous? Do we reckon it's that one? In which case, we can take a shot at it and do some do some damage and and, and at least injure it for next time. Or is it going to be these three back here? When those we might be able to kill if they get a bit closer. I think we just do the pistol. I think we just do the pistol shots, to be honest, and just take out what take damage that one. And you never know. We know we'd have a zero percent chance of a crit. There we go. So we've got three damage there, but now Cheese Wheel is out of moves. Is aiming it? I. You you may well be right that aiming at a flamethrower's fuel pack is a um, is a, is a war crime. I couldn't possibly comment. Um, but does it count when you're up against zombies and aliens? Oh dear! How did that one get up there? The shockwave of that explosion reverberated throughout most of the city. I would expect a significant reaction from the lost. The only reaction I will accept from them is their deaths. Find us that pits. Okay, we've got another three turns. I think we can probably do that, even if Mox did just take a hit to the face. Um, I can't grapple away from here yet, but we can just shoot that guy in the face, and that'll get rid of it. Hundred percent chance of hitting. So I think we're o we're okay with that, and that's a completely free shot as, as well, even if he is going to need a reload fairly soon. Oh, there's a ladder around the side there. That's why. Uh, and you can see two more. You can see those two up there. Okay, but there's one. There's at least one down there. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to wait with you to decide what to do next. Uh, for the time being, Cheese Wheel, can you get that one? Yes, you can. Excellent. So we'll we'll take three out with Cheese Wheel. Boom. Cheese Wheel is in an excellent position for just slaughtering her way through all of these zombies. Because uh, she's far enough up the ladders and things that I think it's going to take a zombie a long time to get to her. So we can just pop all three of these like this. And then a quick reload, and then probably a pistol overwatch because she can't see any more. Now the question is, what's going on on Mike's side of the uh, the world? So he um, he can see one. Okay, that one over there, which is a pretty easy hit. Eighty five percent chance of hitting it. Do we trust Mike to get up an eighty five percent hit? We'll find out. I don't think that zombie can get close enough to him because that, that one isn't. Is that a dasher? I don't know. Um, I don't think I can get all the way over here to him in one turn though. So I think he's probably relatively safe. And he managed to kill it as well, so that's perfect. Oh, and he's got a promotion as well. Even better. There's another ladder on the other side of this. Let's move him forward to here with his first... What is technically his first move. There don't seem to be any more zombies on this side, though. So Mike got one, and the other two got a billion. Um, fair enough. 
Let's stick him on Overwatch, and he can perhaps take out then any, any any more who show their ugly faces. Uh, same with Mox. Overwatch, please. And Cheese Wheel, you can have a pistol Overwatch because you've used your uh, to, you, you've used your whatever on reloading the sniper rifle. So here's another two. Yeah, agree. Get it together. Apparently, uh, reaction shots are difficult against zombies. <laughs> okay, well, cheese. I think Cheese Wheel has had her fair share of kills now, so let's get a, let's let's try and get some for Mike and see if he can get a little bit closer to a second promotion. I mean, oh, he's running. I use all his ammunition. That's fine. We can have a free reload in here. Well, a semi-free reload, and then we can take out the other one. There we go. This is. There we go. Right, so I think we are now out of hostiles for the time being. Um, certainly nobody nobody knows of any they've spotted. So we, we can't... Oh, we, oh, we can do an overwatch. Yeah, let's just overwatch with everybody at this point. And you as well. Yeah, <laughs> a reload and the ability to carry on shooting, I guess is what I mean. A lost swarm is very close. Nice. Sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even more of them. I think we've got something here. Just need another minute. You have your minute. <laughs> that was a lot of random things for people to say. So what I'd like to do here is get Mike over to with the rest of the squad because he's a bit isolated at the moment. Um, unfortunately, if I move if I move him, then he's going to be left on the floor. Well, I, should, I could put him up here. That's that's a pretty good place. Let's put him up here. Because it's up multiple ladders, so that's going to keep him, make him harder to get to for the, much harder to get to for the lost, and it's going to give him a really good vantage point for shooting down to everything, and it's going to give Mox and Cheese Wheel a good vantage point for defending him as well. Now Cheese Wheel is in an excellent position. Mox, not so much because he can get. Oh, actually, let's pop him over here with the um. How do, how would the and the lost can get up here with the uh, with the, there's a pipe here to climb up I think I was going to say I'll put him over here with it, just running I suppose or perhaps I can get him somewhere even better with a grappling hook yeah I can get him up here with cheese wheel with the grappling hook that seems worth doing let's do that right now everybody is nice and high up so I think that means we should have a good chance no matter how many um, how how many lost come running in so. Let's have some more Overwatch from you, from you, but not from Mike because he's already moved. But that's fine. Wow, that's quite a lot of them. And aha, we have a uh, we have an escape point. Excellent. That's a lot of lost. <laughs> That's a lot of enemies. But, I mean, we're seeing ludicrously high percentage chances for hits. So, let's start off with um, Mike because he's got... He can't... He can't... Um, what's the term? He, he, he can't uh, squad sight. So, we'll just get him to take out the ones that he can see first. Boom. <laughs> and then reload. <laughs> and I guess carry on firing. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll carry on getting as many kills as I can for Mike. Because it tends to be a lot easier. Oh, that was a tough one. I didn't... I should have been checking. Looking at the um, looking at the amount of health they all have. And then and, 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 and shoot, shooting appropriately with, with the right weapons at the... Uh, and it picks a more powerful weapon for the guy with for the alien with for the for the lost with four health, but I wasn't. I was just shooting them all. There aren't any more with four, so let's just just get shooting. No, don't use justice. Oh, get in a reload. Okay. So you are right, and then start firing. Uh, I suppose actually using justice on one of those wouldn't be such a bad idea because it would bring them all the way up to him. So it would actually be okay. It would bring the lost up to him rather than him down to the lost. So it's kind of okay. And it would be a guaranteed fatality. <laughs> Cheese Wheel does not like having somebody shooting right next to her ear, which is kind of understandable. Uh, 
wonder if um, I wonder if Mox is as is as um, made made as nervous by the by the rounds going off near him as the as um, as, as cheese wheel is. Let's find out. Can't see <laughs> the uh, camera panned over in a way so I couldn't tell. Right, that's one. Take out one more, and then she's going to run out of ammunition. Have to reload, and then maybe take a pistol shot. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, fail. I should have shot the one with three health rather than the one with two health, because then the pistol would have been enough to take take the other one out. But let's get in the let's get in the reloads of the first action, and then try for hopefully the pistol is no pistol. It might do two. To, it does two to three, so we might be able to get a kill with this one. There we go. So we have successfully slaughtered our way through every single lost that was visible. Let's get in another reload because nobody else can shoot. Nobody can shoot at this point. Right. So everybody now has a full gun, but no time unit. Oh no, no, he doesn't have a full gun. He ran out of time units. Because oh yes, because because Mike missed or didn't manage to get a kill in. Okay. Uh, yes, I believe you do keep the uh, you do keep Mox and um, and Dragon over after after the mission. So it is, it is potentially worth upgrading them and, and leveling them up. Um, he doesn't seem to have a rank. Oh, that, that's a squaddy rank, I think. There is it. Yeah, squaddy rank. Uh, so yes, you, yes, you do get to keep him. Okay, so that's lots and lots of kills. Uh, yeah, sure, do a pistol overwatch since you've got time units left. Exactly. Uh, oh, you've got time units left. Hang on. Right, that was th that was it doing a new turn and me not realising because it does it without really informing you. Now we need to get over to here. There's a, a gap in the wall over there, so that looks like a good way to do it. Let's send... Can we send... How far can Mox go with his grappling hook? Not at all because he doesn't have any time units. Alright. Cheese, can you get over there? You can't. Um, let's move Cheese to here. <clears throat> kind of don't want to go full out sprint because, well, apart from Cheese Wheel where it doesn't matter quite so much because she can't snipe. We can't use a sniper rifle if she's moved. So let's, yeah, let's just do a normal move for Mike down to here and see if we see if we spot any more lost over this way. I'm kind of hoping we don't because I'm not really ready to, to deal with them. But given we've taken lots of them out, um, given we took out a wave of lost, I think that means we won't get any more for a minute or two. It is a great distance, yeah, sorry about that. But we need to move. Yeah, the grappling hook looks really useful. I believe in, in, uh, in the original XCOM, there was a particular type of armour you could get that that uh, gave you a, that came with a grappling hook. Um, but in this one, I don't... Uh, well, I don't know. In this one, it seems to be a thing that uh, that Mox gets as a, as a special ability. Maybe I should try and rename him to one of my other uh, channel supporters. I don't know if he can. I don't trust this game not to jump out on me with some more zombies. So I'm going to move slowly and overwatchy. Yep, there we go. There's one coming. And we're in a much lower, or more awkward position now. Question is, do we make a bid for the, um, for the evac point? Or do we try and take out another set of lost because it's good for farming XP? I think let's dash my yeah let's let's dash for the evac point because the lost haven't appeared yet, and I think generally you don't get attacked in the first turn when you when enemies appear. So I think we can get away with a lot a, a sprint over here. Um and then we cheese wheel um move you to here why not I'll do yeah and then in the next turn we can get into the we can get into the evac point I think so we should be all right. A lost swarm appears. Where are they? Oh, they're over there behind us. Of course, of course they are. Now, I mean, I feel like we should just take out as many as we can for free. Because why not? Let's just start. Let's slaughter our way through as many as we realistically can. Because uh, we've got... Oh, there's only 76% chance of hits, actually. You know what? Let's... Oh, uh, he's used his grenade. Um, Mox, are you a better shot? 96. Yeah, 90%. 90 percent each chances I seem like a good, good one to go for. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. So that's that's an easy one. That's a hard, that's a tough one. What does how much damage does Mox does? Mox does three to four damage, so let's not go for that one with Mox. That one is a definite kill. 
or nearly definite. That's a three, so that's that should be a kill. That's a four as well. Or I could just put a grenade into the middle of them. But I don't think that's worth it actually. Let's get the easy kills with with mocks and just and then um, and then run from there. So that one's got that's a two health. Boom. That one was four, wasn't it? Yes, it was. That one is three, so we've got to take that one out. Or not. Fortunately, Mox can shoot or move. Oh, no, he can't move far enough. Damn it. <laughs> Let's move him to here, then. A bit of a retreat. There we go. Both of my both of my soldiers used their grenades early on, so I can't, neither of these two can throw a grenade into the midst. The pistol we could we could, however, fire the sniper rifle into and just start. Only seventy five percent chance. Jeez, why so why so low? Oh oh, they're too close, so it's difficult with it with the uh, with the sniper rifle. Okay, what? How much damage does the assault rifle do? Because this is the tough one. Three to five. So there's a fifty percent, sixty percent chance of taking taking that one out. Let's try and take out some more lost because I mean, why not? Just so. Or just miss completely, Mike. That'll, that'll do too. Why not? For goodness sake. <laughs> well, we need to get we need to go for the near one first, even if it's going to be a difficult difficult one to hit because otherwise it's going to come over and eat somebody's face. So even though it's only a sixty three percent chance, I think we need to try it. There we go, that's better. Um, and then that one. Okay, the att attacking them was foolish. We're gonna we're in a bit of trouble. Although maybe they've now moved far enough that they can't attack. We shall find out. Nope, they didn't move too fast that so they couldn't attack. Oh dear, we've got someone injured. That was a mistake. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, sh I should have just I should I should have run away when there was a bit more of a chance. So Mox is going to have a ninety six percent chance of killing this one. So we'll do that, and then we'll just run away. I think because this is foolish. <laughs> let's just let's just do that, and then we'll do whatever shooting we can from here, which is probably going to be none, but we'll try anyway. Exactly. Okay, we don't get to shoot from here. Oh well. I have successfully completed it without anyone actually getting killed. So yeah, that was a bit. That was a bit dumb. Should have. Um, should have retreated a bit sooner when I had the opportunity. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't choose the location. Okay, it was uh, it was either Bradford's fault or the other two. I'm not sure who to blame. Rendezvous point directly ahead. Let's try and play nice today, people. So, Advent's most brutal captain comes to atone for his crimes. I am no longer that being. I am free now. Taking off that helmet does not change what you are. Reapers have long memories. Elder Kruxard. Any time. The way I see it, we have two options. Join forces and kick the Elders off our world, or kill each other here and now. The choice is yours. Oop. No one has ever done that before. No one shall ever do that again. What the hell is that? <laughs> Mox Prima, elder assassin, relentless death that stalks my kind, butcher of free advent. My people face another like her. They are the undying. Advent's curse upon us. 
We must combine strength if we are to have any chance of success. You are welcome to try. She's got good hearing, that assassin. <laughs> Yes, I think having a couple of zombies punching Mike in the face is probably going to be a, uh, an improvement. They appeared without warning years ago. Had they not, we would have already regained our home. <laughs> Such arrogance. The Elder's will extend throughout the universe. I am but one of their instruments. Right, so we have to defend against an enemy that's capable of going invisible um, and make sure that uh, the two sort of special people uh, don't don't die. Where are they? They're over there. Okay. Um, hmm. I wonder what the missing letter up there is. I have a couple of, a couple of possible ideas. So we are already in an elevated position, which seems like it's going to be fairly good defensively. So... Is the best idea here just sort of to get everyone together and um, and try and do lots and lots of overwatching? Um, I suspect it might be. Okay, Tristan. Well, th uh, thanks for stopping by. And yeah, sleep well, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Or catch you no, catch you next time we do we do something. What time even is it? Oh, it's twenty past ten. Okay, it's not it's not too late. Uh, right. Let's so let's move. Let's move everyone sort of reasonably together over on this side, um, although not too close together so that a grenade could take them all out in one go. So there's an edge, there's an edge of the mission world here, so we can't they can't can't get any further that way. There's there's quite a bit of map that in that direction, and quite a bit in this direction as well. Um, yeah, I think the best idea at this point is going to be just to stick our people over here. In reasonable levels of cover, we'll get a reload in because actually no, let's not. Let's not do a reload um, because she's got one shot left, and that'll be enough to, for a uh, um, uh, for an Overwatch. God, everyone really short of ammunition though. Maybe I should maybe I should be reloading. Cheese wheel, can we get you up on top of the train? No, we can't. There's no way I put that up there. What's a hmm. I want to. Get, I need to get cheese wheel up against the up, up against the fence, but I don't want to send her to way out of range of everyone else. But yeah, okay. Let's put her in the in the gap here. I think that's probably the best idea. This, of course, is going to be where the uh, chosen pops up from over on this side, and nobody's any, in any cover at all. But uh, you know, we'll, we'll do what we can. Um, bring Mike over to here. Okay, so we have lots of people in Overwatchy positions. Um. Not huge amounts of ammunition, but I think that's probably okay. We can reload and then start shooting if we need to. So let's 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 just overwatch with everybody. Um, oh, except Mox who needs to reload. Okay, that's fair enough. Then he can overwatch because he's um, got lots of. He's able to do things in whatever order he wants. Uh, Mike also. Uh, that's not Mike. That's uh, Ed. Is that the chosen? Yes, that's the assassin. Right, okay, so the assassin has appeared now. That thing just rang the dinner bell for every remaining lost in the city. An accurate assessment. The entire lost biomass seems to be converging on this position. Then let's get you all the hell out of there. Firebrand's en route to the evac coordinates now. Get moving. Alright, sorry about that, I didn't notice the stream had gone until um, I'd done a little bit more. So, in the in the time that I suspect the stream was down, the Chosen uh, moved from over here, to, to, right, right over here, spotted Dragonova because she got right next to her, then leapt up here, took out, um, uh, what's her name, uh, uh, took out Mango, um, although Mango isn't dead, merely bleeding out, then ran all the way across here, jumped off the other side, and went back down to where she was started before. So I got Dragonova to throw the Claymore in and shoot it. There was a massive explosion that did enough. That did about 15 damage to the uh, to the to the Chosen. Uh, so the Chosen then decided to leave. But before she did, she summoned an enormous group of Lost. So, um, yeah, we've got we've got uh, Mango bleeding out. Three turns th three turns left before she dies. Uh, and we need to get to the extraction point, which is over here, 
and that looks like more than three turns worth of distance to me. We've also got a load of Lost over here to deal with. Um, and I can't remember if anyone actually, if I actually brought anyone with them. I don't think I brought anyone with a med kit. So I think Mango might be in trouble. I am afraid. Uh, we'll start off. Well, let's check it. Healing drone wouldn't have helped because Mango is down and therefore can't use the healing drone. <laughs> it wouldn't have made any difference. However, that is a fair a fair point that it might be useful to have a sort of ha have a healing thing ability type thing available. Uh, for now, yeah, I think there is actually, sadly, there is I think there is actually nothing we can do about for, for Mango. Um, oh, Dragonova is B in this turn. Yeah. Um, no, I don't think we can do anything. We, it was, yeah, it was it was a sort of a ridiculous. The Chosen ha seems ha seem to have a ridiculous range on their movement, um, and so, yeah, it was things did not go well. Mike has earned an upgrade, a a a specialist specialization. Sorry. Kill confirmed. That's another one with. Yep, only two health. So we can take that one out. Good riddance. Toss me some ammo. Eighty-six percent is is not as good a shot, as good a chance as I would ideally like. So let's let's move on to someone else. So. If I can get Mox to pick her up, is there a pickup? Yes, there is. There we go. Carry, carry friendly. No struggle for me. Right. I wonder if you can use the grappling hook. No, you can't. Oh, you can't grapple while he's carrying someone. That's annoying. Um, but we'll, yeah, we'll see what we can do. So over here, who have we got left? That's two. And you can't shoot as well because he's carrying someone. Okay, cheese wheel. Uh, get slaughtering. And the other one. Right, I believe that is all of the um, enemies we know about. <clears throat> Still, we still haven't had a turn, so we still can't do anything with her. Um, if we move Cheese Wheel down here, that's a double move. Now move, move to here, then we can reload as well, and we're on the way to sort of moving towards the uh, the exit. Um, but we can get in a reload. Move Mox as far as possible towards the uh, the way out. I guess that's here. As you order. Ed, get you to here. So next turn you can potentially do a load of shooting if more lost appear. And Mike, you can do an Overwatch because you're in quite a good position already. She maybe a reload would have been better. Oh well. Lost Swarm is very close. Oh. Right, Mox, how far can you go? You can go all the way to here, that's pretty good. I think yeah, let's let's advance everyone a decent distance. Ed's got a full shotgun. Let's move him. Yeah, let's just charge through here as quickly as we can while there's no lost. If we do see if any lost do appear, they're not too difficult to take out, I hope. 
um, as long as we're hopefully re hopefully we can be reasonably careful about them. Uh, so let's just charge everyone forwards at basically full speed. You can tell Mango that she's going to be the first one to level up. Is that a is that is that a, a, a consolation prize? And I'm doing my best. We may. There is a small chance that we might still save her. We'll see what we can do. I'm all over it. Yes, mango squared. Exactly. A square mango is um, just what we just what we need in this in these trying times. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Cronin confinement. Is that is that a, uh, is, is that supposed to say something about the place where you live? Um, right, so how do we, how are we going to deal with these? Well, we need to get through this building. Um, how, how do we even get to the, the get to the way out? Okay, so we can go either up this building or I think up is probably going. I think we're going to have to accept the probable loss of Mango at this point. I'm afraid, and just try and keep everyone else alive by getting up 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 into the top of the building, and uh, and, and rather than go, trying to go through it at ground level. Now they're all down. At, they are all down at ground level, though. So we'll, well, we'll move. We'll move Ed to here. Confirm. I will try with Mox to get up there as well. Uh, Mox, thank you. Move to here. I go, <laughs> I go quickly, he says, and then staggers slowly, carrying a, carrying a comrade. You're going up that ladder impressively quickly for somebody who's carrying a, another person. I'm impressed with that. <laughs> okay, Outrider, or Dragon Nova as you're also known. Um, put you there, I suppose. You can, you can keep an eye out on what's going on through the window because you don't have enough movement left to get up the ladder. At least then we'll know when there's somebody coming. Uh... Nobody has enough movement speed, movement to get up the ladder, which is what well, I say. Nobody, half the people don't have enough movement to get up the ladder, which is mildly. Oh, you're not in the way, are you now? Of course you are. Damn it! I didn't mean to put it there. I thought she, I thought she was going to stop before the ladder, but no, I wasn't paying attention properly. All right, actually, that's not entirely bad because that means we can stick Mike in there to, um, oh, to spot some uh, enemies and start shooting at them. I suppose. Where's the other one? Further back. Okay. I hope I haven't just got Mike um, encountered. And he's out of ammo. Uh, emergency reload. <laughs> there we go. Who's left? Uh, just Ed. He's got he's got some time units though, so let's let's put him on Overwatch. Yes, we know about the lost swarm. Here they come. I guess Mike can have a bit of a um, fish in a barrel, and then uh, then run up the ladder. Oh. Oh dear. Um, unfortunately, I'm af afraid to say we have now lost. Um, have now lost Mango. So these are not great hit chances. Um, I think I might just move them up to the top. Get them out. Get them up here where they'll be safer. Oh, Mox is in the way. Yes, no, what? No, I didn't say go over there. What are you doing, you idiot? No, <laughs> you're supposed to move over to the other side of the balcony, not jump off it. <sighs> Oh, is there still somebody in the... Oh, you're still in the way, Ed. Okay. That's why he moved to a stupid place. Because he couldn't move to where I wanted him to. And I didn't realise it was telling him he was going to move to somewhere else. Uh... Mox, can you get back up the ladder? Thank you. 
If we all get up here, then we can do... If we're all up here, then we can defend against the Lost when they start to come out of the building. I think it should be alright. So we'll... Send Mike up next, put him here. No, well, the assassin wasn't killed, because you can't kill the assassin, but the assassin was scared off. Or at least you can't kill the assassin in a normal occasion when you when you encounter them. So we don't have we don't need to worry about the assassin in this mission, at least. Um, but in the future, yes, the assassin will still be will continue to be a problem. Right. Where are they? Even more of them. <laughs> Uh, that is rather a lot of lost, but I mean we're in a good position now to just treat them as a shooting gallery, so we should be should should hopefully be okay. Ed can shoot holes in the wall, I suppose that works too. And he's oops, oh, earned him a level up at least. That's good. Does anyone else want to take a reaction shot? Apparently not. If they are all like you, that is a likely possibility. I feel like Mox and Dragonova are starting to like each other a little bit more now. So we can't see any of the lost. We just know there's a buttload of them in there. Oh, no, somebody can see one. Ed can see one with a 90% hit, hit, hit chance. Let's just take it out. And there's more through there that we, we know about those. So we must, presumably that means we can see, somebody can see them. Presumably. Maybe not. That's a very slow animation. Um, oh, that counted as an action. Okay. So we need to make our way through this building and probably onto this balcony over here, and then we can start slaughtering Lost from there. So let's start. Let's let's start moving. How did he spot them on the way through? There must be there must be some damage to the building that he he's able to see them through. That's the only thing I can think of. Let's leave. Let's move. Cheese wheel. Um, and we'll leave Mike and Ed here to... Oh, no, we'll leave... Let's leave Dragonova and Ed here, because they're the fastest moving ones. And they're also not injured. And uh, they, can, they, can, they, can, they can hold the uh, that point, and then we'll, while we go over and claim the other balcony. And then we can... Yeah, I think that's probably a sensible way to do this. Um, so, Overwatch... And Overwatch. Are nope, out they come. And one. No compromises. Detecting additional lost converging near the evacuation coordinates. I advise <laughs> caution. It would seem the lost are on to our strategy. It is the Elder's will that this alliance fall. It will take more than mere loss for that to happen. How do I get through to this balcony? So this balcony is accessed from this room, which is accessed through this door and that door. Okay. Why have we got Cheese Wheel at the front? Cheese Wheel is not the right person to be at the front. <laughs> She's a sniper. Mox, move to that. Have a look through the door. Okay, that seems... Seems safe. Okay, that's a good good start. We need to get along to. It's not this. Not this one, is it? No. It's, 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 it, it, I need to go along inside this room in order to get out onto that balcony. Okay, that's that's manageable. Mike, over here. Will do. Scamper, 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 scamper. Cheese wheel can stay there for the time being. Uh, I know there's more lost down there. I just can't see them, so I don't know where they. Well. They must be down there somewhere, but we can't see them. All right, let's 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 bring these guys. 
Let's wait one more turn and then bring these guys forward. So I'll stick them in um, in Overwatch again. Uh, I suppose you might as well be in Overwatch as well, although I don't expect you to see anything. Okay, so there's more down there. We just need to get them outside the building so we can shoot at them from the... Um... Oh, they're climbing up something. Okay, so they're, they're moving on to that balcony. So we're going to need to get through there and then take them out somehow. Is Mox going to get a shot off? No. That'd be far too easy. Oh, they found another balcony to climb up onto. Right, these two haven't seen anything. We're not running out of time. Oh, there's one down there at the bottom. Okay, well, if it comes up behind us, we'll shoot it. We'll shoot it then. <laughs> um, let's run a couple of people through into here. These two, I'm going to task with killing these two zombies out here. Uh, they can't do it from where they are, unfortunately. There's too much stuff in the way. I'm pretty sure they can't. No, we can't see them from there. Oh, wait, you, can you... How do we know these zombies are here? Who can see them? Oh, you can. Through squad sight. That means somebody else can see them. That's what that means. That's what squad sight means. Oh, you, you can see them, Ed. Okay, and you've got 80-something 80, 80 percent chance of hitting. Alright, let's, let's try and take them out from here. Good. Excellent. And the other one? Lovely. Good shooting. Alright, and now we can get... Can we get in a reload? Yes, we can get in a reload. And that's the end of his turn. But Dragonova can go into in Overwatch to, to protect him a bit. Right, so we also know there's several there's several of them through here. So if we send um, Mox to here, then he should be able to get some really good shots off against, basically, well, both of them without any difficulty. So we'll just, you know, 100% chance. That, that, that'll do for me. And... Um, Probably 96% oh, chance for the other one. I wonder I wonder why that's less. I have no idea. But we'll... Can we shoot it, please? Thank you. Right, and then bring Mike forward to provide covering fire as well. Uh, bring Mike forward to provide covering fire. There we go. There's a lot of them downstairs. That is going to take us a while to get through them all. Or we might just see... How close are we to the evac zone? I mean, we might be able to just drop down from here and go straight into the evac zone in one turn without having to worry about the bajillion lost that are in, 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 in the downstairs of this building. Um, we shall have to see how that goes. Uh, we also want to move Cheese Wheel forwards to... Uh, let's go to here. She can't do much from there. Well, no, she can't do anything from there because that's, that's her entire turn. Oh no! Wait, what? Oh right, yes, you, that's that's put Mike onto Overwatch. That's fine, fair enough. And Mox as well. They can both do Overwatch. And Dragonova can do Overwatch as well to keep to keep an eye on what's around Ed because he's been he's been very very busy. Killed a couple of zombies and then had to reload. More lost. Are they going to come up the ladder? Yes, they are. Okay, well, hopefully one of my guys will just shoot him straight off it again. There's a lot of them down there, though. <laughs> it's a lot of lost. Are you going to come up as well? Yes. Somehow through sort of magical... Magic of teleportation is going to come up. Oh, you, oh, coming up the back way. Oh, dear. Dragon over. Wake up. Thank you. Uh, that was not the right one to shoot. But, sure. Wow, they're coming up all over the place. This is starting to get kind of zombie-y. The sheer magnitude of the biomass converging <laughs> upon this position is staggering. If our team does not evacuate now, trust me, Doctor. They know. Right, Dragonova has no ammunition. She can reload. And have and be able to take out those two. Then there's one here, and then, and move. There's one here which probably Ed can take out. Or Dragonova can, and then, and also move. Alternatively, better idea, probably better idea is for Ed to take out these. He's got 100, 
He's got 100%, basically 100% on the first two. So let's take these out so they're not following us. Because these are free kills. One. Two. <laughs> Unfortunately, Dragonova is, is one of these. In, um, in XCOM, you tend to only get one of everything. So you get one Claymore, you get one Smoke Grenade, you get one real grenade, and so on. Which is... A little bit frustrating, but that's the way the game seems to work. So unfortunately, I uh, I, I I can't I can't take out um I, I can't leave leave claymores behind me and shoot them as the, uh, as the as the enemies follow, which is a little bit frustrating. Over here, I'll come. Let's. Hmm. So I could move Ed to here, <clears throat> and then probably have a hundred percent on that zombie to get it. Let's do that. 96% is as, almost as good as 100%. And over the edge. <laughs> We're doing quite well at clearing them off the top of here, at least. Um, and then Dragonova can reload. That was Ed. That was not Dragonova. That was not what I meant to do. Fail. I thought I clicked on Dragonova. It's got to the time of day when I'm not concentrating quite as hard as I should be, and therefore making, making silly mistakes. Um... Yeah, let's just start moving out of here. Ed should have moved rather than reloaded, but that's uh, that's that's a bit of a shame. Right, so over here, we have this guy on the top here. We need to deal with. Mox can't see him. Cheese wheel can. Excellent. And only sixty-three percent. Okay, we're going to do something a bit more drastic then. We're going to bring Mike outside to deal with the zombie from here. Only 84%. Jeez. I mean, it's enough, apparently. But still, 84%. Not that great a score. Let's move everyone else up as well. And I'm fairly sure if I put him here, he blocks the um, blocks the ladder, so they're not going to be able to get up to us. And we'll also move Cheese Wheel out, because Cheese Wheel can't really do much from in there. Right. Pistol Overwatch for you. Overwatch for you. Overwatch for you. Yes, we know about that lost swarm. They they don't seem to be too bold. They haven't noticed us yet. Oh, oh no, no, there are some more of them. Here they come. Could we have some reaction shots, please? I know you know. I, pff, they're all just queuing up at the bottom of the ladder, so we can't go down it. Right. Um, oh dear. Let's bring these two up to catch up with everyone else because having them all the way back there is a bit of a concern. Oh, now we know about them. And Ed as well. Got it. If the zombies could not all just huddle around the bottom of the ladder, that would be lovely. Do we have any grenades left? Yes. That looks like a good place to put a grenade to me. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully five kills there. And one of them's on fire as well. Um, I still don't know if we can actually get down from here. Uh, let's put everyone into Overwatch again. more of them. <laughs> That's a lot of them. One less. Or fewer. My concern is if they block the ladder down, is that going to stop me getting down there? When we are taking them out at a reasonable rate... But, oh, and the building's on fire as well now because I threw a grenade. Mox, can you get to the evac zone? You can. And in a single move as well. You know what, I think we're just going to go straight for the evac zone at this point. I will move. Oh, we can jump over the side. That's even easier. And then from here, let's just start. Let's just take out some of these guys. 
because he's in the evac zone, so he's he's safe as long as we get everyone down there. Uh, no, not just. Oh, reload. Okay. Is that the end of his turn? It is. Uh, Ed, you can. Oh, you can only get into the very corner of the. Uh, yeah. I don't want to use up the very corner of the evac zone for anyone who can make it any further. Uh, unless I absolutely have to. There we go. So, Mike can make it to here. He's got one shot left in his gun, so he can take out one more zombie as well. Yeah, the fact they're happy to just jump off the edge like that is really convenient. I was I was a little bit concerned that they might just... Um, uh, they might be stuck because there's a zombie at the bottom of the... I shouldn't have attacked that one. I really shouldn't have. It doesn't matter too much because I'm just sort of farming for free kills at this point, but... Still, it's, mar it's mildly annoying that I didn't get a kill. Who have you got your best shot on? Ninety-eight percent chance. Sh sure, he's only got one health as well. And then, who's left? Oh yeah, Ed was the one who's going to struggle to get in. Right, there we go. Yes, everybody can get into the evac zone. Excellent. Let's take another... Since we've got unlimited pistol ammunition, let's go for one of these ones who doesn't who has only two health and therefore is an easy kill. Before, we run, before other people run out of ammunition. Or before using up the limited ammunition that other people have. Nope, that one's got three. That one's got two. It's a guarantee. Not a guaranteed kill. It's a guaranteed kill if it hits. And they do seem to be pretty good at hitting. Uh, okay, so that's that's it. That's it for the for the for this safe kills from there. Ed, get yourself down here. You've got lots of ammunition. You can take out maybe another two. And then we'll Oh actually no you won't. We'll run into there and then we'll go, oh everybody's in there, let's evacuate. Right. Oof. That was hard work. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'm very strongly reminded of Legolas and Gimli. Uh oh. Well, it went so well until the until the cutscene. Uh, well, actually, it's not true. It went. It part some of it went well until the cutscene. So, uh, yes, I'm afraid to say we did lose Mango, as you saw. Can memorialize her in a appropriate photo. Yeah, I, 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 it wasn't me. It was the, it was the, um, it was the, uh, it was the assassin, living up to her name, unfortunately. Hopefully, we'll be able to bring in another Mango. No, that was a, that was a picture that had been taken off a live body beforehand, and we're just using it as a memorial. Abilities with each to follow your choices, Commander. I'll uh, next next time I stream, I'll drop the resolution of the game down a bit, so it's it's um, hopefully going to be a little bit more stable. So we now uh, get to keep Dragon over, um, and I have some. Oh, this is this is what we can use the um, the action points or whatever they were called uh, for. So for upgrading the. Um, Upgrading the, the special soldiers. So, Shadow we've got, which is quite nice. And Claymore, we've also got. With new rank, can blow up a vehicle. Or may, or get in a vehicle or apparently other environmental explosives to um, explode and do double damage. That sounds pretty nice. Deals one, plus one damage if the target has been wounded this turn. That also sounds interesting. I suspect the remote start is going to be more useful. I think just being able to blow up vehicles that, a, that an enemy is lurking next to is going to be extremely handy. So I'll, I'll take, take that one. Um, 
most of the time I hope to be killing targets a little bit more quickly. And plus one, basically, what I'm, actually, no, what I'm thinking here is that either a target is weak enough that it's going to be relatively easy to kill and won't take multiple shots, um, or, or at least two shots will be enough to kill it, or having a second, um, having a plus one to the damage isn't really going to be all that significant. Uh, okay, we can get a squad site for her with um, for 25 ability points. We can't afford that at the moment, but maybe save up for that one, because squad site is very, very useful. So we'll take, for now, we'll take the remote start. Mike is gravely wounded, but has learnt to be a grenadier. Oh dear, I'm not sure I want Mike, Mike being in charge of explosives. Uh, but yes, Mike has uh, picked up the big guns and the uh, and the grenade launcher, so um, good, I suppose. Having a second grenadier is probably going to be quite useful, to be honest. Um, we'll see how that, especially if one of them can be wound, is going to be wounded sometimes. 18 days wound, wounded is quite a long time as well. Yes, definite Fs for uh, for, for Mango. Cheese Wheel has a, has um, earned a uh, earned a um, an upgrade here. Uh, sorry, a, a bleh. Cheese Wheel has earned a promotion here, so that gets her either um, Long Watch, which is um, Squad Sight Overwatch. That sounds very very useful. Um, or Return Fire when targeted by enemy fire, automatically fire back with your pistol. So I think there are two, there are essentially there are two ways you can you can treat your your sharpshooters. You can either go, you can either have them as snipers, where you have them sort of using with things like long watch, so you, they you can, they can be miles away from the action but still take pot shots during the um, during the enemy's turn, or you can have them as sort of a bit more up close and more of a pistolier than a sniper. In which case, you give them things like return fire, where if anybody shoots at them, they can return fire with their with their pistol. I think I'm definitely going to be going for a sniper as my, with my first sharpshooter um, because snipers are incredibly useful. So we shall be going for long watch with uh, for a cheese wheel here, and um, I'm not taking any. Uh, I'm not going to listen to any any any, any, any um, alternative suggestions there. Long watch is, is exactly what we want. Uh, then we can also promote Ed again. He's been he's dinged up to a corporal now, so you get a choice between um, Phantom. So he, uh, so he can stay concealed when the um, when the rest of the squad gets revealed, or he can have a a, um, a boost to how good he is with his sword. So he gets a plus ten aim, so he might have a slightly better chance of actually hitting things with the sword, um, and an extra two damage. That's, to be honest, those are both very very tempting. Um, I like the sound of yeah, I like the sound of both of those. I suspect I think I'm going to have to have. I think I'm going to want to have two rangers and have one of them specked out as a um, as a st as a stealth one. Although I think I need either a ranger with the phantom ability or Dragonova with the um, with her essentially phantom ability. Uh, one or the other of those in in any any given mission. Um, what do you think? Should we should we um, should we give should we should we set Ed up as a as a blade master and be a bit more effective with his sword, or should we or should we make him into a sneaky sneaky fellow and he can he can he, he can then go in and genuinely play solid snake slightly better? Uh, that one I'm not sure about. I can see the advantages of both of them. He do <laughs> We've had one death, Madman. Unfortunately, in the last mission, they were someone would, uh, was wounded and then bled out because I forgot to take any med kits. Uh, or didn't take any med kits, rather, and the assassin is a bl is blatantly che blatantly cheats and can move too far. Uh, so now, so yes, he has he has a shotgun and and a, and a sword. So the question is, do we want to go for phantom where he can sneak up to people and then um, and 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 just sneak? Sorry, he can sneak around a bit more effectively, or do we want to make him a bit more effective with the sword? I'm um, I didn't kill her. It was the assassin, not me. Um, I'm not sure which one of these I want to do because I think I want to have someone. So I, I think I want to have a, um, a ranger with both sort of, both sort of sneaky abilities and the and the stabby abilities. So I'm um, I'm open to suggestions. Basically, let me know which one you think would be a uh, a better one to go for. Um, and that is my going to be my final uh, final promotion. And then I think it's going to be bedtime. Okay, we have a vote for Blade Master, and everybody else is keeping quiet. So I'm going to pick that one. So he's going to be a stabby stabby type. So he's going to pair well with Dragon. So we'll have any mission. So so he can go out with Dragonova on missions, and then the next ranger we get, who will be who, who can get the Phantom and be the alternative for Dragonova when she's tired or injured or anything like that. Right. Factorio stream on Monday. Uh, I presume you mean. I don't know why the um. 
the Sky Ranger has come back empty. We only lost one person. We didn't recover anything because it was all again lost and yeah, we got lots of kills, but no loot. So we have um, we've made the uh, made the resistance happy. Uh, we've gained a scientist and we've gained ninety three intel. So that sounds useful. Um, Obadet is shaken. When they don't have a chance to rest. We should give them a few days off to recover if we can manage it. That's interesting. I thought you went from tired to I don't know, very tired or something. Uh, fatigue. That was the one. Um, if you went on too many missions, but. But before now, we've never had the resources to investigate the possibility of clandestine advent facilities built up outside the city centers. Now that we've gotten word of this black site, I have to admit, I'm worried about what we might find. They could be doing anything in there. Yeah, so I thought they went for, they went for, in, in a mission. They had a chance of coming back tired. And if they were tired, they could go out on a mission, but then they'd probably come back fatigued and literally not be able to do the next mission. But Ed seems to have gone straight to uh, straight to fatigue, so that's um, interesting. Um, no, Madman, there is no, there is you, you, you aren't in this playthrough because you haven't submitted a character. You need, you need to send me a character over in order to be part of it. Hmm. So yes, Mox was captured due to um, due to cutscene, but we'll hopefully be able to get him back at some point in the future. The resistance factions can help us locate our captive soldier if we deploy on a covert action alongside them. Thank you for sending additional support staff to assist me, Commander. I will make sure they are put to good use. No, you're not dead already. You're just a coward in the res who hasn't joined XCOM yet. All right, so there we go. Got to. Got Dragonova as a new soldier, good, and we've got a new scientist. So, presumably, does that mean we it brings it speeds up our, our research? I, I would, I would, I would hope so and expect so. There's still three days left on the experimental weapons. What's this? We have an unstaffed engineer who's not doing anything. Uh, let's send him in to clear out some more alien debris because why not? <laughs> He's not doing anything, so that seems like a useful thing to have him doing. Uh, or I could put him in here and speed the building up here, but I think that's probably going to be more useful. Um. I think that well, this is this is going to be the end of today's stream. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need to do first. Uh, so we have in here we have if, if we have a have a look at the soldiers, we have um, Ed is currently shaken and needs needs some time to recover. His wow, his will score has really dropped. Um, maybe it's because I sent him out on a mission without um, without Peter. But those two are both tired, so we'll we'll, we'll leave them to recover. Um, Cheese wheel also tired. So I guess next time it's going to next the next mission we do is probably going to be dragging over. Bagel and then a couple of rookies, so we can bring out maybe some more of the uh, more of the admins, or maybe 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 a couple more of the um, the new people. So uh, yeah, so the ob obviously we're going to be using the um, the people who have actual proper names first. But if we if we run out of those and for some reason people don't send more na more uh, characters in, then we can um, well, we'll we'll see how things go. So yes, we have. Um, we we're, the next mission is going to be is going to require some rookies. It looks like we'll pro probably taken out take out Tristan and and Pete, um, or maybe we'll take out uh, Persistent and Mark or Tack. We'll we'll we shall see. There are there is a lot lots of potential, lots of people we can bring with us. Uh, but anyway, that is going to be next week. So thank you very much for watching. Why have I got what what are these? Oh, these these are the number of kills we've got. Those those types of aliens. We've taken out two sectoids, nine Advent soldiers, seventy three lost. Two Advent purifiers and one Advent um, captain. So that's that's not bad, I think. Uh, unfortunately, we have lot we have lost one soldier. So um, we've done what we can to yes. honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. Alas, it's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. Advent Burger, where the customer is always right, in between the buns. <laughs> so yeah, we can. All look down in the bar until the next um, until the next mission. So, um, yes, I've lots and lots of losses before before it fills up. Yeah, can you go over and look at it? No, apparently not. You can just sort of just about make people out from here. Yeah, well, you can always watch the VOD or uh, perhaps turn up a little bit earlier. I mean, it, uh, that, that, those those are my those are my suge uh, suggestions for you. 
So, right, over here, we are currently researching, we have one scientist, we are currently researching, what are we researching? Experimental weapons, and we've done a, a chunk of the research there, but it'll be a little while until that's finished. Over in engineering, we're not actually doing anything here at the moment. Uh, there's more talking. If they have gone to the trouble of hiding this black site, I suspect our findings there will lead us to even greater questions. Hello, Commander. <laughs> All right, so we have various um, various weapons and things to play with along here. We'll 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 worry about this. We'll worry about all of this stuff later, I suspect. Uh, like in the next in the next um, in the ne in the next stream. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've um, I hope you've enjoyed the. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Uh, those those of you who've been around for a little while, and those of you who have turned turn up later, I hope you've enjoyed what you did see of it. So, thank. If he crashes this ship, I might just hand him over to Advent myself. Seems reasonable. Uh, you're you're right. It is very very chatty. Uh, so well, thank you thank you everyone who um, thank you for everyone who came, who came along and watched. I hope you enjoyed the stream, and I shall be uh, back with Factorio videos on Friday and Saturday as normal with the catch up, and then for the Factorio stream on Monday there will be video on Tuesday. I'm not quite sure what the uh, the new one for supporters is going to be, but last week there was a uh, there was a. Was a was it this week we released the... Oh, yeah, it was the... the, the pff, words, sorry. <laughs> this this week I released for supporters the um, the, the latest uh, part of uh, Mark's attempt... Mark's efforts against Pyanodons, where he's uh, found some new wee beasties to play with. Uh, and that's So that's going to be coming out for non-supporters on, on, on Tuesday. So something to look forward to there. So thank you very much for everyone who's been watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the, uh, the YouTube channel so you don't miss anything. And maybe even subscribe on Twitch as well if you're feeling generous. And potentially donations on uh, donations through Ko-Fi as well will get you the uh, opportunity to see the videos a week early. And I would say it would get you the opportunity to have your soldier prioritised. But I've got so I haven't have, I haven't received enough um, <laughs> in, enough volunteers as it is. So there are, there's a bit of a shortage anyway. So thank you very much for watching. I shall see you next time. And goodbye.